Uh. Yeah, this is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> it's Trina there. Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. 51 motherfucking 50. In the motherfucking house We live again Corey Hogan in the motherfucking house Zoe Williams Darlene O.G. Ortiz And who is this bitch over here? Corey and them drug around earlier I don't know That's, that's a good woman right there She don't talk that much <laughs> well, She's got no head, just neck It's all neck I fucked the hat and Gay niggas will sit on her head Way that hat, mate. The niggas with Backdoria. What, what, what? The land of Backdoria. Oh. <laughs> Where the manhunters live. Fuck you, Tim. Pussy ass show <laughs> later, gear. <laughs> Somebody called it a naked Raiden. <laughs> <laughs> Without the. Raiden who didn't pay the electricity bill. Oh, can, they, can they see that she's pregnant? Well, they can now that you said it, D. Got a nibbles out and everything. That was supposed to be D without the crickets. I brought my sister. That's not nice. Wow. She brought her sister. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we brought Corey's mail order uh, bride. <laughs> Somebody say I look like what? <laughs> okay, that motherfucking thing going fast as hell. Slow we it can't. down, Frankie. Uh, it's already, people can only comment once a minute. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, he done shut them minute. down. Wow. Oh. Wow, they taking away the motherfucking power. For the niggas to even speak on things. Right. <laughs> so we were, me and Zoe was talking a little while ago because we saw, I live in Hollywood, okay? And there's some things that I noticed. Last night I was out at the club and I, I want to talk about this. I live in L.A., so it's warm during the day. Okay. But this time of year at night, it cools off. And last cools night was off. our coolest night ever. So it be a lot of bum-ass bitches with big-ass coats on and high heel sandals. I know they feet be hard than a motherfucker because they can't... You, you know, they live in that... Sho- you mean spike shoes, like dress high heel shoes? I'm talking about they wearing shoes with a big-ass coat. Like, but don't you need some fashionable boots? To wear yeah, with a it's coat. Not raining, so they're just chill. It's a Cali, so they're I just covering. I think what he's saying is, ain't your feet cold? You bum ass bitch. You yeah, left that part out. Yeah, but you're going out. See, what I'm saying you're going. She out. got hot feet. You going out? How do you expect them? To How do you put on a coat with sandals? Why don't nobody mean, gag on mean, these bitches? No, but you mean strappy heels, for I don't know what you're saying. What else? Okay, strappy heels. So if you were to take your woman out on a nice evening dinner and it's chilly outside. You what? What does she have to do? I mean, if she wants, she to has to wear coat. some fashionable shoes, and stop showing the world that you a bum who got a closet full of bullshit ass sandals. Silly, you three hundred bitch. Those aren't Uh-oh. sandals. You're talking about strap three hundred, <laughs> right? Strap this bitch got heels. the shoes Leonidas was fighting in. Leonidas, <laughs> right? <laughs> Give them nothing, <laughs> but take. Everything is shoe wearing bitches out here. <laughs> I mean, like I'm just saying, how 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 much are we gonna let the ladies get away with this shit? Now in Chicago, the bitches can't wear the sandals because it'd be the snowing. Weather. Okay, you just let said it. it because but it's I'm snow. saying well, just because just it, it be wasn't it chilly last night in right, the way you get in the club, West Coast you, weather though. Right, but when you get in get there, you take it off, cold. you peel out, and it's fine inside because you're sweaty. I have that happen all the time. So you saying you one of them girls who wear a coat with some sandals? Sure, if you get just just enough. That's irregular. 
That is not that's regular. That's copping out. No, it's not. That's it's... lack of shoe game. No, it's not. So you're going to always cover up your feet because it's chilly and you have a coat? No, that doesn't Yes, no. it's, it's the time of no, year. No, no. Somebody say Mimi sandals. <laughs> not in Cali. Have you ever been out with the sandal situation? Yeah. Corey's <laughs> Crappy hills, right? Hard and your back feet, feet was cold. For that hot second. But usually my feet aren't the part of the body that really gets the rest of me cold. It's usually like neck, hands, Hand. <laughs> maybe some legs. But other than that, you just cover up a little bit, a little scarf, a little mittens. <laughs> and you yeah. hey, thank you. Yeah. Silly. Somebody said smell like cold corn chips. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you wouldn't be able to smell them because they're exposed. So Corey, Somebody said, Corey, want a woman to wear gators. No, thank you. Said. Well, gators. If she got some gators, that's cool. <laughs> but I'm just saying, when I be seeing these girls walk out the club dressed like we in Florida from the calf down, and motherfucker got on a Valkyrie coat in this motherfucker. Yeah, but they're not out like working, street walking, and stuff like that. They're just How you go- know they ain't street walking? They got to pay their rent. Anyway, I'm just saying, the, you go to the club looking one way, you just go from there to the car, maybe from the car to a restaurant, and then back home. You're outside, but a. Now, I just- saw some hoes in San Francisco that was damn near butt ass naked. Well, when they on the motherfucking. When they on the, when they on the track. That's how they attract motherfucking the motherfucker. Cause you know it's a competition. You but know? they was acting Trying like it wasn't even sale. cold, right. and it was cold as shit. I believe you. That but I like that to, better. When they got to eat, it, right? They, they gotta were, eat. But when you see them girls that are going to a nightclub and they're all, ah, ah, and they look like they're not enjoying what they have on, then that doesn't make any sense to me. Or they have on a warm jacket, tiny hot pants. Come on now. Wear a full length, then if you got to cover up your legs because you're cold, then you see them all. Oh. Bitches, bitches don't be having money to buy a full length. I'm just saying. I'm watching you when you out. I'm checking everything out about you, just like you checking out shit about me. If you a, if you a motherfucking bitch who of a certain caliber, they looking at you. They checking you out. Right. I'm saying I'm checking bitches out. All you bitches with that nail. It's all the way up here with that big ass gap in between your motherfucking finger. I know you a bum ass bitch. You got your nails done three weeks ago. I'm just saying. I'm judging you. Same way you judging me. <laughs> this nigga stupid. I'm just saying. Like if my hair ain't cut, I know. Yeah, but if it's I know hair, all the wrong bitches is like, oh, this nigga hair ain't cut. Is this nigga an unkept nigga? But I'm saying, there's some bitches out here. They just be happy to have somebody. That's true. That's true, but I'm saying I'm I'm not happy to have somebody, and I'm watching you, motherfuckers, what you got on, and I'm talking shit. You cannot be ill dressed around me without me saying shit in my mind. I ain't saying I got to say it to you. Without me saying shit in my mind, right? Like if you pass me, I might be doing this when I see you. But in my mind, I'm like, you bum ass bitch. Where your motherfucking shoes at? <laughs> you still got all your shoes from the party in July. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> Those are the July party shoes. Right. <laughs> July. Come on. Come on. I saw some episode of American Dad yesterday. Yeah. And it was an entertainer working on a boat. And when they introduced him, it was so funny to me. He was like, so and so, so and so on the tail end of their career because they work in the boats. You know wow. what I'm saying? The cruise they, ships. The cruise ships, yeah. yeah. That means it's almost over for you. They just, you're too old to sell tickets in, on the street, on, on land. So they like, maybe when people ain't got nowhere to go on a boat, they'll watch you. Yeah, they can't word. jump off. I don't like right. <laughs> I've never liked Fuck cruises, it. right? They can't drive to the strip club. Mm-hmm. They just got to. Tolerate you. They, gotta be, they just got to yeah, take it. You night. ever see that movie 2012? Them two old dudes was on the boat singing. It's a trip. It's a laugh. Been a hell of a gang, but it's not the oh, end yeah. of the world. Yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. Said, All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking dying. The only place they can do that <laughs> show. It's they over can- for you, <laughs> motherfucker. So I'm just saying, I think I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go on a boat just to see who entertained it. I want to see who who's about over. Why cruise? You been on a cruise? Oh, oh, twice. Did not like it. 
You what about stuck the- on that motherfucker. Mm. Hoping you hit an iceberg for some excitement, goddammit. <laughs> I heard Awful. the Tom Joyner cruise is nice. Oh, well, that's different. See, those are themes. If you go on a theme cruise, you know for sure you're, go- what it's you're gonna going to be popping. Well, What's you know, a theme cruise, dude? Like, oh, we're going to have an all R&B. Like, his thing, they'll have a certain group. Oh. So you go on it for, like, whatever, a couple of days, and you know that you're going to see this pr- concert that night, this group that night. But it's, you know, So, like, if Cameo and Right, it'll time. be like old school R&B funk float Mo tonight, D. you know, blah, blah, blah. So blah, those blah. boat crews are live. Those are live. Cause Cause on, a, know. on a boat cruise, you have a room. You can fuck. Oh, yeah. That's yes. what make it live. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's like a lot of people sleep on taking the train to Vegas. Oh, you yeah. can get a sleeper car. You yeah. can fuck and sleep for about two hours then in 40 minutes, y'all pulling to Vegas. Yeah. It's oh, the, you mean the bus. I'm, no, I'm talking about no, the train. 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 I've been taking the train a long time. Vegas I love the train. Las Vegas from Los Angeles, yes. there's a train. Yes. You don't know that? You don't. You ain't never seen the train Amtrak. on the side of the road? That doesn't go directly to Vegas. The Amtrak one? How do you know, D? What do you mean? <laughs> that means she got caught up. <laughs> what? No. What? <laughs> hey, you have? You've been on it? You didn't write it. How, how do you know what I did, D? I'm just saying. I just said. I, this nigga. I just that said means you got could, caught up. Right. <laughs> what? You can fuck bitches on the train. <laughs> D like, you ain't fuck your bitches on the train. No, how do you know reason, what I did? The reason I'm saying that is, have you seen the size of those beds? They're like the ones in the tr- in the tour bus. I don't you need are definitely no not big having bed. sex with You are definitely not having You're the only one that can Hey, that it. train to San Diego is a nice little ride. That's a quick, you got to fuck quick on that motherfucker. Yep. You like, bitch, we ain't got time to talk. The train to Oakland. You ever took that one, Zoe? Yeah. Yes, I have. Better than that. The sleeper they, cars are not that expensive. Better You'll than be that, surprised. They overnight, they have the nice tour bus ride. It's fancy. If you see How it. is it a nice tour bus ride? It's a seat. Oh, no, no. It's not a bus like that. I mean, you see it, the one that goes up north. Well, what, what, what happens on the bus? It makes it different than a seat. It's beautiful. It's not. It's got beds in it. Have you seen it? It's like yeah. It's like a new version. You talking about? Takes you up north. Wait. You, you can't you fuck in to, them beds. I'm gonna show you. That's why I'm trying to tell you. You can't do nothing but crawl up top and be still. I rode in a bus like that. That's what I'm saying. What? The train ones are the same. They're you can't crawl up top and be still. Maybe you could six nine side by side, but after a while <laughs> you're gonna be like, bitch, open it up so I can get out. God. Of here. I was just saying, <laughs> you can't fuck on a tour bus unless you got the room in the back. So like a tour bus that's built for one person. No, all of them but have if it's sleepers. passengers, I know they got enough room for the people. So but he is calling on her history in uh-huh. hip hop. No, I'm not you talking. You was on a tour bus. I'm not talking about. Pray my head in this little bed, D. You're not hearing me. It's a new thing now to go up north from L.A. to. Oakland or to San San Francisco. What is it called? Is it it's the party not, bus? No. Wait, she said it's a new thing. I'm trying to figure it out. Is. is it the mega it's bus? It's not a tour bus like I'm talking about. It's like that. It's a nice long fleet line bus that's just for that so that you can sleep on your on your ride. I never heard of that, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to look right it up. But I've been you. on a tour I'm bus that yeah. has those little rooms where you... Little if bunk you, beds. No, it's no, like you're getting the MRI. It has one big room, and that's in the back. <laughs> He's like, you in that little tube in the MRI. Right. <laughs> you be sleep like this. <laughs> the ceiling be like, hey, right there. Right here. I can't have no bad dream in this motherfucker. I'm going to bust my head yeah. wide open. <laughs> it's a little mini coffin on your way to. Yeah, you can't be quite in those, that's for sure. Ain't no Greyhounds got that shit. Greyhounds going to stack y'all on top of each other with uh, stanky Greyhound. ass uh, motherfucker. God damn. Ugh. That is low brow. Greyhound mm-hmm. is low brow. I don't give a fuck if they got USB plugs on the new buses. I'm not taking the <laughs> Greyhound. <laughs> no motherfucker well, unless I'm motherfucking trying to duck the law. <laughs> what? What you see? What the big homie up? reached out. What's the number to call in? He ain't got one. Hey, Willie D, we ain't got no damn phone line. <laughs> <laughs> I know Willie D got a story. Right. About I remember when me and Bushwick was on tour. <laughs> Bushwick was doing jumping jacks in them little beds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me text God, you back. I my cap. Anyway, I'll put it back on. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. What do we think about women in their late 40s and 50s who date broke, young, handsome men? 
<laughs> what do we think about that? I mean, because when you see a man, Maybe. I see a D, D right. showing. But well, if they, the if they ain't got the picture, they that's can't the see it. One. Okay, well, I'm just letting you know. It's but not can you have regular. sex in that? Hell yeah. You see the size of that? It's Let more me see than it again. That's, 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 not, a that's, not, that's not how it look. No, that's the That's one. some different shit. What this D? Is, but this is what I'm telling you. D this found a picture that worked for her point. No, this is the luxury bus that goes from L.A. to Northern California. How much is the ride, D? One look it up. What's the name of the bus? 125, 175. What's the name of the bus? Because that ain't oh, so bad. One uh, one seventy five ain't so bad. Fuck that shit. I'm buying a ticket for one seventy five. I'm in motherfucking Oakland in an hour. Nigga. I wish I would. Yeah, but this is that's if people true. want sleep. That's, that's true. what that's what it Plain was all it. developed for. Mm. Stanky foot motherfuckers. That's what you. What if you on a bus with one a stanky way is foot 48. motherfucker? They rebranded it called the cabin luxury. Upgrade. Fuck that shit. They ain't got no bus ride forty eight dollars. This clean. That's true. Them beds got to be. It costs money to keep up a bed. That's why st- pillows said smell it. like mouth juice. <laughs> anyway, if yeah, who's slapping this motherfucker? The bus driver be like, "Hey, fuck you, <laughs> pillow <laughs> juice, <Right>. niggas." <laughs> Ooh, that was nice. Anyway, swamp. So what foot. were you saying now about what older women and younger older men? women who show off their younger booty paste. So you're saying, other than the norm, like the old guy that has money that has a young girl. An old guy who has money. Right. That you know thinks he's saying? all that because he's got a People young woman. Talk shit. She's only there because of the money. But go ahead. Right. But what about the older woman? I'm talking about the older woman who has no money. But she shows off a younger strapping man like this her come up. And ain't near one of them got shit. I'm well, talking about. Her, but maybe they don't need shit other than just some companionship. Really? I don't know. I'm just saying. I've been in L.A. since 2001. I have not met many stand-up females out here. I love. I think I need to do a documentary on uh, the invasion of your faith. Where I go to church and show how much it costs to fuck bitches and make them cross their God. Mm, mm, this would be mm. a documentary that would be mind blowing. But you'd have to be undercover. Everybody would know. See you coming. Do you hear oh. the malice? I don't have to be undercover, Did D. You, but, but, D- they, but if you say that that's what you're about to go do and you go do it. It ain't all of the people who think they better than us don't even watch 5150. Oh, okay. The people this who think they closer to God. This nigga said, <laughs> and make them cross their God. I love that. When I meet church bitches who fuck immediately. I love that. I'll be like Church bitches. Oh sweet. Right. Who fuck tonight? Fuck to the church <laughs> that's the name of the documentary. Church, church bitches. Immediately. No, yeah, immediately. Who oh, fuck like. tonight? Remember Sugar Hill? I had that motherfucker eighty dollars up there. Here's your God. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your God. That nigga Sugar Hill was funny as hell. Oh, shit. <laughs> he had that dope. He was like, here's your God. <laughs> right here, man. Right here, nigga. <laughs> Bitches ain't fucking got no faith in God. They talk about God. That's all they do. I don't fuck too many church bitches to believe in their beliefs. Oh, shit. I'm huh. just saying, you make me doubt your God. These is haymakers. Because you into it. <laughs> it be bitches who will step to you at with God in mind. Have you accepted Jesus Christ? I'm talking about, oh, Lord. Have you ever got $200 for your pussy? Huh. Yes, I have accepted Jesus. I'm saying like it, it really works in poverty churches. God churches dang, of poverty where the congregation God, is just right not here. doing well. I'm just saying. Holy thoughts. <laughs> I don't know. I like holy thoughts. It holy might work, thoughts. It might work in churches where the women ha- have some funds as well, Corey. Because I, I'm I'm out of people shape. People I'm old. Know, I can't work women. that crowd. No, they're older women. We, I need ponytail niggas for that crowd. <laughs> I need niggas who young, uh, got promise and hope. Like I'm about to be a rapper. You need to fuck with me. 
Yeah, you know, well, that ain't flying nowadays. It'd be like, what? It still works. Oh, it's just you older. Drop it. No. When, when they come at you, that shit, do you be like, been there, rap, done that. Rap. Be like, rapper. <laughs> I was with a legend. Right. Yeah, <laughs> top <laughs> that. <laughs> shit. The high rollers, rollers, rollers. <laughs> He was a pioneer. There's right. no way you're going to beat that. So. Part of the right. revolution. 19, okay. I got a $50,000 car. Oh, look at you. <laughs> That's the bad way. Hey, man. <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> has some cold I'm records. Saying, yeah. That nigga and has some cold Mike records. That Yo, video. man, how can I be down? <laughs> you know, that's Herb's son. That's yeah, that's Herb's yes. son. I heard. That's Andre. Yeah. What's up? What I, I'm trying to remember a verse. I, I used to know the whole back. song. Ease back. What's yeah. after that? You forgot, D. You no. should be ashamed of yourself. You you know What's after you. ease back? I have to get in the zone. Oh, you oh. forgot, D. Oh, you wasn't you wasn't with that motherfucker for Whatever. real. My favorite shit is the ease motherfucker, back. Uh, a motherfucker get beat down. See, I, I got to help you out, and I wasn't even fucking. But that's the what nigga. I'm saying. I was not zone. If you get in the zone, I'll say I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> you was exactly. in it for the money, D. You, you was in it for the oh, money. Oh, please. What money? I love original gangster. Me. Huh? Oh, original gangster. Oh, yeah. That was, that was a great mm-hmm. record. Oh, gee. Original, original gangster. Love that shit. Yeah. I love the shit that the motherfucker did with Quincy on Back in the Block. That's Back what I'm on saying. The they were the right. first ones to win a Grammy for Back the rap. Back on the Block. So we could rock with the soul, rhythm, and blues. People up in hip hop. Back on, on the, the Block. block. That was Back him. That was Melly Mel. And that how was his verse start, D? King. Wait, how his verse start, D? I don't know on that. Oh, <laughs> you ain't <laughs> shit, D. You don't know how his verse start on Back see. on the Block? You know how many lyrics that help I Help out. Help out a little bit. My credentials. Let me check my credentials. Come on, D. What's that to check my credentials? I don't know that one. A young player. Brave South, South Central. Central. What the L- fuck, D? What are you doing? Home with a body bag. Come on, with a body bag. What's that to that? What's on your Oh, gee. <laughs> she wasn't oh, really down. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> the definition of down. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. No, okay. I know once the song starts playing, I can say the lyrics. Well, oh, we can't oh. tell you those some lyrics. Shit. What songs you and, know? And it's not just rap. You know, I had I memorized all the rock too. You don't know any of the body oh, count. Wow. Well, she, she, she probably oh, thought right of a then. she thought of a body count song. So I, that's I, what I she wanted to go. I don't know none of the body, no, body count. Saying. Remember that he was just saying no, that. I don't know. Body no. count. No, it was cop killer. Don't know. Oh, oh, Cop Killer, that's right. You didn't I never say that. Body Count like that? What do you mean? That was a Body Count song. That wasn't a rap song. That wasn't, that wasn't no that rap song? That wasn't a rap song. That's okay, well, I got fucked up, but it's so, it's okay saying. for me you to get no fucked up. Fan. You ain't got no bitch to get fucked up. You I don't, to know, I don't know nothing, Ice-T. Right. You post, that was back when y'all motherfuckers was out uh, here rocking fur coats and shit. And it put on a song, and I will sing all the lyrics with it. But when you just throw it out like that, I, I would be, what? All right, what do that? the record from New Jack City. Which one? He only had one song. You only had one song. You were just saying. New Jack Hustler. Right, the one with Mike Tyson in the video. New, 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 new Jack Hustler. Right. New Jack, new Jack, new Jack. Hustler. (laughs) Come on, (laughs) Dick. What's up? (laughs) Say you want to be down, ease back. A motherfucker get beat down, out my face. Motherfucking. Yeah, damn. You don't know the shit. Hustler. <laughs> so I say expose. <laughs> I know all those lyrics. No, Put the song mean. on, and I will. In other words, I'll rap with it, but I don't do I that. I sound like it when I'm rapping right now. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I know all of them. Get your the hands song. over here, grease my head to the scalp. Play the song, and I will rap along with it. But to actually quote the lyrics like that, I don't do all that. Right? Yeah, we got it. No, we gonna get not. some other rappers girlfriend in here. Go through this song. <laughs> And see if they down with that nigga for real. Oh, please. I went to Ice Cube. I went to Ice Cube concert. If you play it, I'll rap along with it. I don't just throw out lyrics. Oh, I'm going to rap. That's not my thing. He yeah. just was you, there. No, he was just like, go ahead, do your thing. I'm out here no, smoking a square. I used to be on the stage with him performing. I even used to um do do the beatbox. I used to even do an 808 and play it on stage. What are you talking you about? You bullshit. You play the 808? Oh, sure. I used to do all that. Yeah. Do they still make 808? Need it hard to get. You have to have one in mint condition of it. No, D was that was just like that, that time we went to that Thank rap. Thank you. And Japan, I'd be on stage and do all that right. stuff. Yeah. We was we was at some <laughs> we was at some shit in the park. It was a rap thing. 
old school rap thing. And uh, one of the DJs wouldn't perform because they had all the new school equipment. Oh, you know, he's talking That's about, right? Up. He's talking about the glove. He <laughs> oh, got the there glove? And he was upset because they were supposed to have something set they up They were supposed to have old school turntables 12, for him. Uh, well, he probably wanted Technique 1200s. Yep. Yep. And they were like, yep. Uh, yep. That makes sense. I want to scratch, nigga. Fuck this shit. I'm gone. <laughs> fuck you the can, automated you, scratch. No, but you nigga. can still scratch with that. <laughs> He's like, I don't fuck with this new hey, shit. The glove That's was true. ridiculous back he in the day. He was at my book right. Both of them. That motherfucker Japan was cold. I know who the fuck Jesus is. What? That was off Rage in Harlem. Movie. Anthem. Anthem, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. That's He's my favorite stupid. part of Car Wash. Anthem. Oh, and them, Lord. <laughs> what is that? Ooh, oh, that yellow. Shit. That yellow ain't gonna work. Let me see. Well, that's why we're, we did a tester. It's not the shirt, so we did. We found some bogus ones in there, so I can use a sample. Oh, the gray. Oh, I like gray, that. Gray work. Like the gray or white? That look good. Or that white. gray look good. Nah, use white. Fuck see? that. Belling down the street Fuck and that. straight use blue white. and gray. White. I'm scared of the motherfucking gray and the. Uh, okay, well we tried. That's try. too many colors. It looked too. Yeah, use white. See, because it's too it. specific when people wear sneakers. That's all yeah. I'm thinking of. Yeah. Use white. Thanks. Uh, yeah. There you go. Thank you, Jose. Thanks. We got a shirt we making today, goddammit. I'm about to that restock. Gray looked good, boy. But I thought the I'm gray looked pretty restock. darn decent, right? I thought it was we'll decent. Use it for something else. So that white will be just hard, a hard white like that. Yeah, well, that could have been right. gray. What? The white on that one. See, I like gray. Gray and bad. We'll That's do it nice. another time. We about to have some new shirts. We about to restock. God damn it, motherfucker. Yeah, by tomorrow. I tomorrow, some, I'll put all those other ones down. Hey, I got some I got some badass female clothes. I'm just saying. Can he? And I got to change, homegirl. I'm sorry. I apologize. Did you see her. the female clothes? I didn't have time for all that. I was trying uh-huh. to set the shirts up for him. Uh-oh. I opened all the bags, though, but I didn't look at it. Niggas is calling you out, Corey. What they say? Uh-oh. Wear them Yeezys, nigga. I keep forgetting that shit, but nigga, on my mama after I seen what Kanye oh, did. Oh, please. I was going to talk I about that. I will burn so. them motherfuckers. Fuck that fuck boy. I am so glad so many people are peeping him for who he is and then try to throw out some free Larry Hoover motherfuckers. Yeah. He did do that too. If you he? get Larry Hoover out, goddammit. That's good. But that still ain't going to get you a pass, nigga. Uh, 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 you uh. did sucker shit in front of the nation. <laughs> and he's continuing. You know what I'm saying? First of all, you did sucker shit when you got married, nigga. Here we go. You proved you gay because you wanted pussy dripping others. You got those crickets over there? (laughs) Oh, Lord. Uh. That pussy was still dripping Humphrey Juice, nigga. Humphrey. God dang it. Chris Chris Humphrey Humphrey. Juice was still in the remains. He had some residuals of the labia. Is that the word? Labia? Oh, stuff that's left. Residual labia. labia. Coverings. Is that a word? <laughs> Hooper sap was seeping from the serpent. You selected sucker. Now that's cold. Give me my promise for that. Hooper. I said sap. seed was still. I don't know what I said, but called it Hooper sap. That was wrong. What I just said right there. Is he still playing? That guy. Is he still in the NBA? I don't know what he's doing right now. It's just like it's just like oh, it's just like with the other sister. Hardened beard was filled with Odom crack seeds. Oh God! You saying he got high off of? Damn. Is that fucked up to say? God dang Because I don't want James Harden to beat me up. I saw him walking down the street. He kind of tall. He, he, I think he'll get me. At my age, he'll get me. I know he got Lamar energy and shit. What you do? I know. Fuck he, out of there. Ain't no crackhead finna oh, whoop me, nigga. They got extra super strength. I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. I see the nigga, the nigga. Let me tell you something. The, the nigga live around me. When they hide, right? 
I see him at gas stations and everything. He stayed. He, he literally street. stayed. What's that dames and diamonds? What's that he one He stayed down, down the, street? the street from me. See? I Let me tell you something. This thing about L.A., you be seeing motherfuckers come out the crib. Yesterday when I was walking out the crib, <clears throat> this nigga I used to hoop with, he was passing by my crib. That nigga said, I was like, who is this nigga <laughs> that know my motherfucking crib now? Because I know this nigga know me. <laughs> nigga, I ain't going to say his name and shit. Light-skinned nigga. He be training niggas now and shit. What? Hilarious. That nigga was like, Corey! I was like, oh, shit, here we go. How does he, what does he train him in? He trains people like, you know, personal training. Oh, but he don't, he don't use weights. Oh, okay. Okay. He, I, I, would, I would hire him because I feel like what he does is good for me he helps you get balance on both sides of your body oh okay you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and people need that shit because some motherfuckers lift weights and they yeah, right be stronger than the right, left right, so much right. more no that's where it's true. actually awkward I, I need about three months to that just help my left work out as well as my right yeah, instead yeah. of just hitting the dumbbells doing this shit with these muscles solid but God damn it, you still got it. You can put one shoe on like this by lifting your leg. And you can't put the other one on. You got to flap that stock all the way over. Like an off balance. Right. I got whole, you. Whole heap of on balance, huh? Oh, I got you, D. God damn it. Whole heap of on balance. balance. We gonna balance all right, Cricket Swallow. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cricket Swallow. Whatever. That's your new name around this <laughs> motherfucker. Cricket Swallow. <laughs> Cricket Swallow. Quick, Cricket Swallow. That phone company uh. going to sue you. Who? Cricket. Cricket. <laughs> that bitch be eating our phones. No, I'm just fucking with it. <laughs> exactly. Cricket. Well, you're a little early for New Year's Eve. You know, the Rose Parade is the day after New Year's ah, Eve. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Got your little Rose Parade. Wait, look. There's an R. Oh, the Rose what is it? Parade jacket. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Four stairs laugh with you. Catch. You know, look, you want to laugh as at yourself. Oh, is you letting your hair grow out in there? Uh oh. Me? Yeah. You know, hey, I be watching every week. Every time I come up here, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So got that motherfucking nutty professor under there and shit. <laughs> <laughs> professor Dingle Dong. <laughs> Remember that old Tom and Jerry shit where the motherfucker was making that noise with the trumpet where they do they had to go somewhere where it was quiet? What? No. God. Episode, episode. But they was laughing in the room next to him, like. <laughs> and dude wanted some quiet. This nigga remembers. And this is before. Everything. This was on Tom and Jerry, but it wasn't the so cut. It wasn't. It was just one of them cartoons where a doctor prescribed this man. He had to be around a lot of silence for a while, so he went on vacation. But coincidentally, the doctor went on vacation too, and him and some lady was in the room next door. Blowing a trumpet and laughing. How many times did you watch? They was laughing so hard, it was so funny. Cause how hard they was laughing. Like he'll slide something under the door and they'll slide it back. You know how they do on a cartoon? They smack him or some shit. I don't remember that. Watch a lot of TV. That's what I'm saying. But if I bring it up, I'm going to oh. bring it up. On the break, I'm going to find it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say, I remember that one. Somebody I don't know. To see. <laughs> Somebody, people with the long shit. Uh, Corey fresh off the set of Cooley High. Fuck y'all, nigga. Y'all gagging on my hat. My hair, I didn't comb it. When you get, uh, see? when you so grow. You're when you stuff you just got through dogging the I admit it. Oh, my God. I admit it. When you let your hair grow. You have to comb your hair and style it. You have, like, if I just. So, what you I, got underneath there? The Gary Coleman? I got a bush under here. I mean, okay. I ain't shy. I'm a motherfucking nigga for the motherfucking Oh, face. my goodness sake. Uh, look I at don't that. Give a fuck. Mm. Well, I look sexy mm-hmm. when I comb my shit. I got the R&B motherfucker when I comb this shit. Here we go. Ooh, somebody give you If you love. need a man strong but sensitive. <laughs> you don't remember the other part. <laughs> Yes, Alexander no, O'Neal. Right. I was about to say, that's Alexander. No, but my I'll be by your face. side. Always treat you right. You need an all true man. I'm a man. <laughs> 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 
great record. Ah, that's right. I'm going to be in Dayton, Ohio this weekend, goddammit. We was in Columbus, motherfucker. A lot of people couldn't go to the show because it was sold out. And they wouldn't add another show. Oh, oh that's wow. terrible. This week, same thing in Dayton. They That shit, them Saturday shows definitely going to sell out. Friday shows, if they ain't. Mm. Get your ticket now, motherfucker, because mm-hmm. I love performing in Ohio. Ohio is just like, in my opinion, Chicago. Same type of niggas. Mm. Yeah. We Midwest. That mother- right. Them good folks. Last there. time I was in Dayton, I almost went to jail. I got in a fight with this uh, Arabian oh, motherfucker shit. at the mall. I was in his store, and he was yelling at everybody in the store and the employees. I was like, slow down, man. That motherfucker said, you! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Before I knew it, I had to touch him. I thought I was going to go to jail. Oh, Who was there with me? I think that was my homeboy Muhammad with me. I had gave him my wallet. I was like, look, I'm probably going to go to jail. I'm about to do some stupid <laughs> Cause shit. I, no, I had to already mush the motherfucker. Oh, oh my God. I, had, I mushed him before I knew when he pointed, 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 pointed. I didn't touch you. Give a fuck. Oh my God. Do you know how disrespect is when you from another east and you point your finger at a motherfucker like this? What was it? You just. You! Said, oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> what? And, I, and I'm normally mellow. Shit jumped off last night when we was in front of the improv. Really? Uh, it, you know how shit happened just like this. Oh it's how fast it happened. But it was some motherfucker. He, we, you know, we all standing outside signifying. Mm-hmm. Uh, all us. All us. But I got a nigga out here. You know him. Boo Capone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boo Capone, funny. he just go. Yeah. We yeah. ride all night. He don't give a fuck. So this nigga came out the improv. He probably was a cool nigga. But... You know, he walked up in the middle of us like, what's up, man? He was a little drunk. Oh. I saw you in Phoenix, man. Here we go. Woo, woo, woo. So, Buka Paul was like, this nigga looks like Byron Scott or something. He said something like that. And the nigga just paused because he was a big motherfucker. Nah. That shit be funny as hell when the big motherfuckers think that big shit means something. <laughs> now, you, now, some motherfuckers, you be like, okay, this motherfucker going to be a problem. Buka but he was Paul just... Byron he, he called him Byron Scott, but the nigga did look like Byron Scott with a <laughs> with a with a Peebo Bryson shag. The nigga had Peebo Bryson looking shag. I can show you the world, ass looking nigga. So uh, anyway, the nigga stepped back like this. You know how you you let a nigga know? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh man, it ain't like that. We all out here signifying this shit. Anyway, you know, Buka Paul, Dick. Oh, Blood, Nick. Woo, yeah, woo. You know. Here we <laughs> go. Here but we Buka, go. Only Buka Buka Paul about your height. So I know him. <laughs> I know. That's the homie. He the homie. Though. That's the homie. That nigga yeah. hilarious. <laughs> the nigga wasn't doing shit because he didn't know what was up, uh-huh. even though he was drunk. But I'm like, man, homie, you taking it too seriously. You, you, you come over here talking to me. Was he by right. himself? He was with a girl. Oh, oh, well. Here we go. And I was very proud of my homie who be out there all the time with us. His name, Bird. I was very proud of Bird, how he Your played security? it. Security? No, Bird, oh. just a nigga from the motherfucking streets. Hmm. But what happened was, the nigga acting tough, you know. Uh, shit. This nigga drunk, first of all, nigga. You go fall. <laughs> <laughs> he, about, he about six, four. You know what I'm saying? Look like he probably hit the gym a little bit. But that nigga, it's eight of us, nigga. So the nigga go say to, you know, we, we like, man, motherfuckers out here tripping, joking. He told Buka Paul, I don't know you. I said to the nigga, I don't know you. You came over here in our circle. Right. Then the nigga just shut up. And I was very proud of that nigga. I know that he bird because he mm-hmm. told the girl who's with him, hey. Take him. You with him? <laughs> Take him. Get him. Because Take him to the go back. Why? It's my job to protect my brother. Right. But he was doing too much. And he probably was just drunk. Yeah. So I ain't mad. Right. And I'm saying this as a lesson to everybody to Even be like. Even a woman, because she should have stepped in long before that anyway. But go. she a girl. She was scared. She didn't know what was going to happen. Because she got real. Lady then. That wasn't his lady then. Well, it wasn't his lady. But right. even if it was his lady, sometimes mm-hmm. women get the fuck out the way. As they should. Mm-hmm. D, you can't be motherfucking walking up in the middle of niggas getting ready to fight, goddammit. No, not that, but I'm saying she wasn't trying to even say anything to him. Like, come on, man, let's go. She was scared. She was Mexican, too. She was a Mexican woman, and she was what looking like. <laughs> Y'all scared. No. <laughs> 
D, what you saying? No, <laughs> D ain't scared because she got D be fighting. Got no, but I don't be fighting. D don't be fighting, but she got just muscle. To fight. I'm talking about to the average bitch. D <laughs> super socked they <there. laughs> had. Have you ever seen D in them motherfucking classes working out? There he go. Have you ever seen this shit? I ain't so, never seen it. You would be surprised. Have I seen it, D? I don't think so. I ain't never seen You'd it. You'd be surprised. That sounds sexy, though. I was in that motherfucking class. You said, have like, I seen it, D? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sounded kind of freaky, though. What? And so I said, I don't know. Have I seen it, D? I was like, oh, my God. No, if you ain't seen it, everybody <laughs> else has. But what <laughs> I'm saying in the class. Anyway. He still got energy like that? What do you mean? Of that course. was a long time ago when I saw that shit. I still it's been at least about four years. I still that was back when you were still cool with Michael Bowden. Tell me <laughs> how am I... You he talking about it. That's terrible. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's me. You know girls, they friendship just go like this. Blam. It's Fuck you, bitch. No, it does not. I have a lot of very close friends. Those right there are... Name three. Friends. Name three. Regina, Annalisa, Diane. Okay, you win. I don't know why. I mean, these are friends that are over 30 years. What are they at? We see uh, Annalisa. <laughs> Annalisa got the restaurant. What other ones at? Around. They work. People have careers, children, families. Who got careers, you know? What do you mean? I'm talking shit. Man. I know. What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and some of them even live out of state. Kenyatta, my friend Kenyatta, lives in Boston. <laughs> Cape Cod. You got a friend in Boston. Cape Cod. Let me tell you something about friends that you don't be around all the time. No, uh, now that she moved, but when she we were, our kids grew up together, we were pregnant. But you can't time. be like you can't claim friends that yes, you. Yes, you can't because you stay in touch. You're if a guy. you don't see them once a year, no, you can't you claim them as like your that. friend. You're not a woman. The w- ladies stay in close contact. If they're if really good friends, a, when bitches be away mm-hmm. from each other, <laughs> and then they get back around each other, they caddy toward each other because no, so no, most of the time, just let me finish this point. Then you can ahead. say something. Most of the time. Women are up under a beta male that let them have a way. So once they get out in the real world and see people that ain't checked the shit out of them yet, they think they can have a way with their friends. This I watch this shit happen all the time with I, women. I they, they it'll be like they grew up together, mm-hmm. but now they ain't around each other no more. That time away causes a division because the bitch with the beta male basically run the house it's rarely an argument because that nigga don't know how to say bitch fuck you you wrong d disagrees of course okay what's your opinion about friends you ain't seen this year no but you see we keep in contact you're probably getting your how you say your ideas and and thoughts about stuff like that with women and being friends with another woman from somebody that's not no 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 no. this is the same with men no 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 if i ain't been around a nigga like but you're being around a man and i mean there's people who i fucked with when i was young like i got a friend named alan these motherfuckers I used to just be with every day. Right, but you don't But I can't guys. jump back around them and expect the shit to go smooth because I don't know what he had to do to survive while he wasn't around right, me. Right, because you didn't feel it out process. Yet. Right, but I'm saying, see, that? you guys are guys. You don't talk the it's same It's the same like, thing with women no, except no, y'all. Y'all's y'all close friends. Corey, I'm serious. I have some real close friends that you never lose contact with. You might not be there physically and how are you their close friend if you don't you, see them no you speak on things all the time you'll call each other about family situations you'll be on the phone all the time or seeing them visiting you never lose contact those kind of people when you're real tight like that you don't but you're a guy you're not going to sit on a phone call and talk to your boy and be I like i think you're naive no, I'm talking from experience. He said that naive. shit like Billy D. Williams. I, know, I think you're naive. I think you're naive. That? Everything you say, that say that ain't bond. Say that you sound like. What I'm oh. saying is everything you say ain't bond. You talking about Billy D. Williams' voice? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, but I'm just saying everything you're saying <laughs> ain't bond, Corey. That is, I'm speaking from the truth. I'm speaking from experience. I think you're naive. So you See, keep I think saying it's that. naivete. Whatever. You're just, you just never you been around people like that. You don't, you, don't have, you don't haven't seen, experienced people like that with relationships like that. It ain't a motherfucker in this world that I ain't seen in two, three years can come jump back in the slot he was in when we used to run tight. I'm not saying that slot ain't available, no. but I'm saying 
Motherfucker, like you said, it's a filling out process. Here you go. Nigga, I don't know what the fuck you've been on. No, but what you just said That's right true. there. Hold on Gotta now. figure it out no, first. No, 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 but what he just said, you can't just jump right back in. Of course you cannot because things are changing So how now. is it your close friend you're if y'all not close? You're still close. However, you just don't do some of the same things because now people are parents. <laughs> now people are teachers or whatever. But so you're not saying, close friends? No, so their lives are. have changed. Thank the you. circumstances in their close. lives right. have changed. And that created the separation. Right. Like how he said about the male and this guy, the, this girl might have one and this one doesn't. So this husband's going to get upset. No, you're not going to go around your girl again and be like, let's go out. When are we going out? No, things have changed. So then you adapt to now their world. Everybody's But the point changed. I'm asking you, D. How is it your close friend if you're not close? That is close, but you, you're adapting uh, to the A new text is not close. No, I'm not talking about a text. I'm talking about knowing everything about them. Family, personal life, business, everything. You communicate with them like that. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm just saying, how do I'm you know everything you right about now. them if you're not around them? Because people you, never show you, you the bad. They show you either the crisis they expected some help from or they show you the good. Girls ain't going to be like, I'm sucking four niggas' dicks and my husband is starting to realize it because he said, bitch, hi, you ain't never made me nut this fast till you start hanging well, out I late. Be a new friend to me, but when you know old friends, you know a lot of things about them. I think that's true with I'm, women. Y'all talk about talk that about to each stuff. other. They talk about sucking dick? Yeah. Tell the I truth, mean, D. Nope. I've, they're at a so your friends can't open oh. up around you? No, they can. I'm talking about me. <laughs> Wait a minute. What happened? No, no, no. no. Me? So when you and Mimi hanging out. No, in other words, right now, if Mimi were to call me up, she don't know everything about me. Because I don't agree. I think that's what gets people in trouble. I think When people know everything about you. When they share way too much. I'm like, well, that ain't none of her, their business. But y'all don't ever talk about sucking dick? Like me and Zoe. No. We don't hang out. But Zoe has admitted on this show he licked ass. But like I said before, things. Frank, have you licked ass? What the fuck is happening? He said his wife's only. That's a motherfucking lie. <laughs> See, there he, there he goes trying to say everything that he says is bond. And that's not what He said man. he only licked one ass. Wait a minute. Hold on. He's going to challenge somebody when they see something. See? Wait, great answer, Frank. <laughs> oh, Lord. If well, you, are you going to have to admit, have you licked ass? I've licked oh, the ass before. And I want you to know. I could not believe that I had that desire. I, when I was a young man, goddammit, I smelled dookie when my I sister know, came out the bathroom. Up, and I was like, oh my God, this is the worst shit I had. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he has a phobia about dirty ass. <laughs> oh, Maybe shit. that's true, D. So. Maybe it's that's true. Goodness. I'm like Frank, though. What'd you say, Frank? Uh, I'm only my wife. Frank, <laughs> hey. I only lick my wife ass. I'm like Frank. Fuck it. Zo. You've never. You've already. Said you only you licked your girl ass that you episode. care about, right? That's you gotta care about somebody to lick their ass, right, Zo? So. <laughs> right. So all of a sudden, you guys are changed now. That's not what you do. I think you, you do. Shows. Oh. I think that's part. What about course. you, D? You licked the ass. That's my. Stays with me. You can fantasize about what I've done. All Did you say time. yours stay with you? That hey. means yes, motherfucker. And, and, and like I said, go ahead and believe that. <laughs> when people don't lick ass, Whatever. they be like, I don't lick no motherfucking ass. I'll shoot you, nigga. But I didn't say it like that. So wow. You know, so I know what I need to know. Whatever, like I said, take it. You can fantasize all you like. That's how sweet I the am. The other and members I, ain't got to be here. I know Nate. Somebody said flame lick Corey's ass. He licked yeah, way back. to go. That was yes, he licked his spine when he was zipping that up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. Y'all motherfuckers going to men on me and shit on the nigga. Oh, All no, right. don't. All right. He said, that's what we do, nigga. <laughs> D licked a girl ass before. I'm going to do the research. A girl's ass? Wow. Check the pedigree. Ain't that what you say? I'm going to start yep. asking people you know. People I know, if they were to say something that was wrong, they're not <laughs> close to me. I don't know. What's wrong? Wrong is op wrong is opinional. That's what I'm saying. So what's they can wrong? Go ahead and say, what do you mean? Yeah, they licked the ass with me. Please, good luck. When we good ran a train that. on that stripper, or some other motherfucker. Good he got skeletons. No, I'd like to. Frank say got skeletons. 
I'd like to say on everything I love. I have never. Frank never licked never ass had. online. I'm not attracted. I'm not attracted to even that thought <laughs> of a woman. <laughs> At all. No, period. but researchers do say they came out with some new report <laughs> that says most women are lesbian, even the heterosexual ones. Well, I know that about LA. Then we, when we talk about that when I first got in here, yeah, God damn it, I don't know a lot of girls who ain't never experimented with a girl. I'm not saying they stuck with it. Mm, I haven't. I, I mean, I know I girls who who admit, yeah, I fucked with a girl a couple of times, but I, that's. What they always say, they find a way to say, I think it's wrong and I won't do it again. Like, they're very convincing because they think that they have to convince you that they don't have an urge to eat pussy. Right. Or they make excuses like, I got dogged by so many niggas oh, that I started dating girls. That's crazy. Well, yeah, and yet and girls are crazy there, dudes. Uh, like, and that's what I was like, <laughs> it's not better than a, a dude relationship. It's almost worse. What do you mean? Because you're, you're, you're dealing with two women. You're dealing with all that emotional overload. There's nobody there to like be s- us more sensible at times. Fake penetration, also. Yeah, yeah. Strap on. Even though they got they got dildos that are very lifelike. They do. I was in the store and, and, and when I picked one up, I was like, "Wow, this looks real." What? <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? Uh, baby, we should buy this thing no, to play with no. you with. This motherfucker here. Yeah. What if you helping your woman to shop for a dildo? I know. Nigga, I ain't, baby, we should. <laughs> I had kidney stones, nigga. I can't <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> <die. laughs> baby, kidney? this look like a good one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she be like, I don't want the one you picked. Get that little motherfucker out of here. Hey! <laughs> My kidneys don't go. <laughs> Somebody said, Corey, you're weirdo. I admit that. that. you just Look, finding that well, out All now? you people got to understand, I'm an older nigga. I'm more comfortable talking about shit and joking about shit. Because I know who I am. God damn it. I fuck with pussy hoe. Oh. <laughs> it's the <laughs> greatest hole. gift ever. Hole. God has given uh, uh, the whole hole. Ain't nothing pussy. like pussy. All kind of pussy. Uh, Hairy pussy. Bald pussy. pussy. <laughs> Nappy pussy. Fat pussy. Yeasty uh, pussy. Uh, Skinny uh, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Infected pussy. Oh, no. no. Oh, God. <laughs> you ran out, so? I'm done after that. God damn. Well, here you were making fun of Tommy. Do you mess with residual pussy? Say that again. Oh, residual. There, see, all pussy residual Every man pussy. fuck with residual pussy. Yeah, all pussy's residual How many pussy. men you think got some pussy that only he fuck? Come on, now. And how many guys think... Wait, wait to switch it off. Wait to switch it off. And how many guys... Ain't that, <laughs> ain't that what they... <laughs> you don't want to admit that you think that mouth is the only one you ah! uh-huh. <laughs> What? No, I'm just saying. It's like somebody said juicy pussy. Dry pussy. God damn Dry man. pussy get enough dick. Right. <laughs> Musty pussy. It's true. You going to keep going? <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. I couldn't get his name. Yeah, it went by too. Somebody said Corey dressed for a pit bull prize fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like an eighties drug lord, nigga. Fuck you Nana's curtains. Somebody said Nana's curtains. <laughs> um, might as well go and get to the bullshit since we got shit. We ain't got nothing else to do but introduce this part of the show that. Slows everything down. Does not. Is these loose talk, talk about bullshit? I don't even know if I want to even mention that Kanye <laughs> stuff. It is kind of just over. Mention the shit. It ain't it's over so with. Everybody want to no, talk shit about this motherfucker. <sighs> Fake ass nigga. All right. As well, we all know last week, you know, he had the meeting with the Trump. And a few of the highlights from that visit. Well, of course, now, before the visit, Kanye did state he wants people to call him Yee from now on. Fuck you, nigga. Yee. 
as he wants to be referred to now. Anyway, when he met with Trump, he of course wore that red MAGA hat, and he told him it makes him, he told Trump this, it makes him feel like Superman when he wears that hat. Okay, you're going to get super socked in that motherfucker. Wait, keep on wearing that motherfucker. He also said that he thinks of Trump as a father, father figure. And that Trump. Especially since your mama gone. Oh, shit. Uh, did, did he ever, was he ever with his dad? Does he have a relationship? He with doesn't him? speak about him, so I don't. Uh, he don't, I don't know, know who his dad him. is. His mom. I don't think that's the case, of course. Anyway, and he also neck. said that, that Trump is on his hero's journey right now. Anyway, immediately after that luncheon, uh, celebs took to social media to announce their position with him. And T.I. actually put a, out a very lengthy um, IG post saying how ashamed. It's very long. I'm not going to read it. He just said ba- pretty much how ashamed he was for being associated with Kanye. And that Kanye even asked him to go with him on that luncheon. And that's when he said, okay, I'm done. this is it. I'm done. So he put on his ID. Why would he ask T.I. to go with him? Well, they've been friends. He said, t- T.I. even speaks in this post that he tolerated all the other stuff that he had already done. And he was kind of giving excuses and trying to back He tried him. to put that man in the middle of the bullshit. Yeah, and so he said, that's enough. Uh, after that, um, that was uh, last week. So on Friday, Kanye and Kim Kardashian, along with their children, uh, flew to Africa where he's there filming a video, but they also took the time to meet with Uganda's president, Museveni, yesterday. He's all, that guy, Museveni, is also a fan of Trump's. Anyway, after, they pre- after the meeting, he presented that Museveni, uh, a pair of his own Yeezys that were signed by both he and Kim. Um, and before they left, um, the president of Uganda also gave them a gift back as well. He presented Some them. Water. He presented them with their own Ugandan names. Here we go. Ugandan names. The president of Uganda. Oof, oof, so Kanye's given name uh, from, so the, oof, oof. from the Uganda president is Kanye Sigye. Kanye Sigye. And Wait, that, spell it. Boo Trump Buck. Kanye. So K N Y E S I S I G Y E. It's Blue Trump back. Blue Trump Buck. And the meaning of that is I trust. And then he gave oh Kim the name God. of, get this. Dripping Goose Slut. God damn it. He gave Kim's Uganda name is Kimi Gisha, meaning the one with blessings from God. Oh, he a sap ass nigga. <laughs> so that's him on the left. Look, he's a real, on her he's a real politician. Uh, anyway, um... Then they hopped on his helicopter, which he allowed them to use, so they can visit the Uganda women's effort to save orphans. It is located in the village of Musalita, and also gave out, they also gave out, that's when he gave out all those Yeezys and t-shirts to the orphan children. There they are. They put them on immediately that's commendable. started dancing. Yeah. Anyway, um, and he promised that he'd be back to help better the lives of those orphans, and he also is going to help the Ugandan music industry. And the tourism of Uganda. As a matter of fact, he's he gonna told give them all two short sandals. Shut up. He told he told the Ugandan president that this will be like Jurassic Park. Wow. He called them he called them animals. <laughs> so there and, you go. And Uganda has a very rich history. Mm-hmm. Does know? it? Very rich. Well, how did dude become the president who supports well, a Trump? A lot of people don't support him because he's actually been the president for thirty two years and apparently been doing a lot of stuff like doing that. a lot of dirt, yeah, a lot of corruption or yeah. whatever. I don't really know what's happening over there. I'm just talking about the ancient history, you know. Mm. He's been uh, approached. If he's supporting Trump, that means he's been approached. It's money. It's a money thing. Yeah. Right. Sure. Well, there you go. So, we're still waiting on Corey to remember to bring his sneakers in so he we can burn. On everything I love, <laughs> I'm going to pull it. Keep, uh, they, keep, they keep mentioning I'll, it. Hey, you know what, y'all? I want to say this. I forgot. D. Yeah. Zo, yeah. Remind him. Next yeah. Tuesday, say Corey, bring the Yeezys. I'm okay. a dog, remind And I'm telling you, I got the Yeezys. There's some. I ain't got them bullshit Yeezys. I'm I got. Gonna, I'm gonna burn them originals. That 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 pair is like uh, khaki. Oh, the, yeah. That pair is hard to find. Them motherfuckers gonna be on fire. Fire. Out of motherfucking protest for the sucker shit mm. that that man is doing. Tell them what you protest. What do you mean? About Kanye. That motherfucker is endorsing a man who basically said, we're going to bring things back to the good old days. You remember that shit he said? Mm-hmm. 
The man just flat out said about well, how them motherfuckers the used to. All the NFL players, mother right. bitches. Oh. Make America yeah. great again. Man, oh, fuck that nigga. Go. Fuck a Kanye West, nigga. Get your soft ass out of here, nigga. Ain't no motherfucker, motherfucking about to be smiling with you. Get your money. All my niggas are from Chicago, man. Get your money. Get your money. I know mm. what it is. But I just can't. I, I, I don't like that shit, man. We in a bad place as black people. And you got this motherfucker sitting around acting like it's sweet. And he can do and say what the fuck he want to say. Mm. Uh, 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 about who he motherfucking fucking with right. when motherfuckers is out here fucked up. Yeah, that's motherfuckers out here fucked up, man. Mm-hmm. You can't pull that bullshit and not have a motherfucker say something to you. I mean, all the motherfuckers who get money with with the man. I'm saying, you see, I'm you see, I'm saying, get your money. I, what the fuck I look like telling you? Oh, fuck Kanye, woo woo woo. I know what y'all. I know what y'all doing out there. I know how it go, but I'm mm-hmm. just saying, man. I can't not say nothing about what the fuck he doing. Right. That would be insane. I heard that. That would be insane for me not to say shit. So it's almost such a spectacle like a circus. It's like, what next? Do you know what I'm saying? That wow. shit ain't cool, man. No, How he no, playing, motherfuckers, man. Uh, Bush good people. All right, motherfucker. All right. I hear you. I hear you, Kanye. Mm-hmm. Bush, good people. Huh? I mean, uh, 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 Trump. Trump, good people. Okay, mm-hmm. all right, Kanye. I wow. got the all green side. I see that. Oh. I don't know I how to do the whole thing. <laughs> I was over there just trying to all mix right. it up. Moving on. <laughs> so today, oh, the Bunny Ranch owner Dennis Hoff was found dead yeah. earlier today by his good friend Ron Jeremy, <laughs> of course, the porn actor. He fucked the shit out of. Him. Word <laughs> is that they were partying him. all night, celebrating a few things. Uh, Dennis Hoff's 72nd birthday and it was a campaign rally he's running for the local house of representatives all wow. the folks that were there witnessing witnessing him partying along with Heidi Fleiss um, they said that they were stunned because nothing seemed wrong with him he was fine partying all night and then Ron Jerry went they went to go wake him up and he was uh, gone so there's sheriffs are I mean it just happened this morning last night they were partying so sheriffs are investigating his death I'm just bullshitting. I met the man in front and of the Empire. And that's the ranch where he, where, uh, he has made Lamar it Odom. where a lot of people who can afford it can get pussy and do coke. <laughs> no, a lot of, yeah, they, yeah, uh, you're right. I'm yeah. just saying. Odom was you, over it, there when he, when, when he, he had the overdose. Yeah. Right. Fucking, um, bitches who are dripping. He was like, I want to feel at home. And there it is. That's a cute picture. Look at them. They're all smiling. You know what? <laughs> All right, so hey, Canadians, moving on. Uh, starting at midnight, Canada will now finally is legalizing marijuana. Oh, wow. Sales start tonight at midnight, officially. At least 111 shops are official to set to open shop across the nation. Um, just like California legalized it by year's end, they say there's going to be double or triple the amount of shops that will open then. Uh, also, they expect, uh, oh, they also allow people from 18 and up to buy online and in retail stores. Residents can also grow up to four plants at home, where here in the States, only California, Nevada, Alaska, and Colorado are allowed legally homegrown plants, but we're, we are up, we're allowed up to six plants. So wow. I'm just giving you a couple little inside stuff here. But anyway, so can- Canada is going to go crazy uh, after tonight. It's going to be pretty live over it's there. It's already a chill place. Place anyway, yeah. So... I mean, so, like, they don't want to keep having to build jails for their citizens. That's what America does. Mm-hmm. America makes money off putting your ass in jail, folks, for something. Mm-hmm. Your own child. You go to jail because you can't do what we white people do. <laughs> you can't get a powerful. job and take care of yours? Well, you going to jail for that. That's powerful. Damn. Right. I'm just saying. You can't live like white people. That's an right. offense. You got to go to jail. That's a what crime. What the fuck you doing with your life? <laughs> it's a crime that right. you can't speaking live like crimes, white people. <laughs> speaking of crimes or no crimes. Speaking of crime. Or no crime. Crazy. New York City had their very first homicide and shooting free weekend in over 25 years this past weekend. What was it? Since 93? So for the first time in decades, the New York police chief said that this is something all New Yorkers can be proud of. The last time the most um, uh, people, I think it was, oh, they have 8.5 million people there in New York. 
The last time they had uh, was in 1993. An entire wow. weekend. This weekend, though, started Friday. They said the last killing was Thursday night. So actually all Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I guess even that last weekend, it was just like Saturday and Sunday. Some wow. people about to miss day summer. They like, it's about to get cold, man. <laughs> so wait, I love you. I'm going to see you when it, when it warms up. Right. Oh, okay. No, they gonna, they gonna, ain't going to be like that next weekend. Well, I mean, we can only be like this. Paca Paca. No. Hmm. So they're going to make up for it, huh? You say it's going to be even worse? I don't know if they're going to make no, up for it. I'm just saying, I'm. this is America. Shit mm-hmm. fucked up. Everybody, this is America, Jack. This is okay. Poppin' Pill, Poppin' Pill Palace, America. Somebody pill Poppin' Palace. Mm. NYC about to be lit this week. Oh, God, like they're going <laughs> to take you it. Know, shit. Let, let NYC Relax. enjoy right. a death-free weekend. Zoe got the yeah. chat room on there. Oh, he does. How does Zoe see the chat room when we don't? What the fuck? I know. Well, well what is that? What is that? You can, can you move that other thing off or something since we can't see our. I don't everyone. even know how to get on the chat room. Like, no, it's I YouTube, you. nigga. Open your app, silly. I don't have an app on here. Oh, shame on him. Anyway, congratulations. Four eyes. Uh oh. Four eyes are better than two. You he done went that. straight to four eyes. Congratulations <laughs> to Prince Harry and his new bride of only five months, Meghan Markle. They are expecting their first baby. The baby is due in spring of 2019. And, of course, these fools out there already took, you know, those apps, the little put the babies together, mm. put the two people together and see what they come up with, and that's what they think the baby's going to look like. That's a, well, okay. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, you know, if you can't, if you can't get pregnant, you're a dud. In the royal family. Oh, they want you to get right like, away. Look, get within your a year. ass in there. And they about to get her motherfucking up. abortion history. I mean, like, bitch, these organs facing forward. Well, because you know she's way older. How old is she? Then she's like what, seven years older than him or something like that. He's a lame. Uh oh, Harry. He's a fucking lame. I don't think so. I think Harry's the coolest. He out of married all. a motherfucking half breed who wear Ambi. What the fuck is that? <laughs> you marry a bitch that hate herself. No, she does not. Like Ambi? Look at her. That is a makeup picture shot. She don't look like that. Yeah. Have you ever seen her look how she really looks? Yeah, but she don't look like that. That's an actual... If she looked how she really looked, they would have her in the kitchen. The no, whole time she, she looks even better. That's awful. She's got some awful foundation on right there. Really? It's yeah. awful foundation? Yeah, is that that's the excuse why... you make it for? That ain't an excuse. I'm telling you right now, she don't usually look like that. Really? Yeah. Well, so how does she normally look? That's lighting. Like and, a mama? And, and, um, no, not that dark, but she's got more color. Oh, did you hear that? No, I'm just saying this doesn't look good. She looks better in real life because she's actually a lot darker than that. Well, that show looks, me a good picture of her. I'm just saying the only reason that one's up is because it was connected to the baby picture. They put the blender together and they're assuming that's what the baby's going to look like. That's what I was making. That bitch thinks she's going to get child support or something if she get knocked up. That, that bitch going to get... I'm pretty um, sure she's assuming she's not going to. Life she's, missing support. She's messing with the royals. Come on now. They, they, right. they either that dead me. or you Oh boy, mama got murked right, fucking the streets. You either down or you're dead. Right. So what you think going to happen to him? I know they like, God damn it, we got to honor this motherfucker to a certain extent, but if we have to, we will. D said, <laughs> said either you're down or you're dead. That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> because that's pretty much what it Shit, is. Shit, yeah. D. I was gangster. Oh, either you're down or you're dead. So they saying that's how the baby will look. They just making a, fun, a joke. You know, you put it in a mixer. There is one of those little apps where you put like a picture of you and a picture of me or a picture of me and pictures of Zoe, and it'll show us what they think. I want you to find this picture where she looked better than that. All her other pictures are better than that. That's a terrible picture. Really? Of her. Yes. She's not a bad looking I woman. Know. She's not? No. Okay. God. I don't know how the woman look. Well, obviously you believe you do. You're like saying she's Frank. Off. Pull up a picture of this woman, a different picture, so we could get some. And while you- I don't know how she looks, she's always in makeup and fake hair. It's just like I posted on Twitter. You bitches are calling this shit a profile pic. This is your costume pic, bitch. You got on fake hair, glued to your hair eyelashes and makeup, and you actually believe that's who you are. That's not who you are, bitch. Who you are is when you've been in the hospital for four days. That's who you really are? That's who you really are. That's how you really look. When you and that motherfucker like, can you give me a cup of ice? That's how you really look. That's the real you. (laughs) All you bitches who really believe that that's how you look because you have put on a Halloween 
You bitches empty garbage in fake hair and fake lashes and makeup. Go to you want to go to Twenty Four Hour Fitness and see how many bitches in there with makeup on, oh, working out with is makeup. Such a is I, that true? Oh, that's Women so are wearing makeup. Do you stay in, in the, gym? the gym? I see some of those. That happens. Naked. That's ridiculous. They hate wow. themselves. They won't be seen as who they really are. But why and do they hate themselves? Motherfuckers, will, I don't know. We'll There's a whole it, bunch of reasons yeah, why. Yeah, but yeah. how can you be with a woman who will not face the world as she is? Mm-hmm. How do you think your sons are going to grow up when they notice mama put on a costume every day? I know. I'm not going to say What do you think they going to do when they see a woman who don't wear a costume? My, I have a friend. that wow. who's Did you ever she, think about that? She doesn't even know, it, but her kids make fun of her behind her back. I have a friend right now that they're like, oh, my God. All every time you're in the street. Because she wears too much makeup, yeah. You, 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 you like, I'm not going to let the world see me like this. And I know why some of y'all don't, because some of y'all look like the gay dude off Car Wash, the movie, God. when mm. you ain't got on makeup. But that's who you really are. So that's knows. a good bitch, y'all? Yeah. Are you fucking serious? That bitch look like Deuce Bigelow right there. You know, Are you fucking I, serious? I can't believe you. You're so silly. What? You laugh because you know it's true, goddammit. What? No. The Schneider looking ass motherfucker. That bitch look like a Scooby-Doo and a Poodle had a baby. God, he's look just Look at her right there. That's the real pick right and there. And then you can't really be... I, I can't <laughs> say anything to you. <laughs> it would, right it would here. just blow you if away you if I said what I wanted to say. Get down the fuck up out of here, nigga. Can't say what I really want to say. Why you can't say it? It's your life. Nope, don't want to go there. Answer him. Answer him. I want to say something, but I can't. It's that ugly. Say it. No, Shit. no. God damn it. Nobody give a fuck. Well, I won't be There's back on wrong. here ever again. If you say it, so yep. it must be something about me. I'm concerned because there's nothing perpetrator. wrong. Perpetrator. No, I'm just saying. If you, you think that is, if you think that's an awful picture, I don't or she's think she's a, ugly. Who? The you girl. Did I, did I say the woman was he ugly? He didn't say she I, was I said, ugly. I okay. said the he bitch said she hate herself. She would not be seen how she truly looked. This is how he thinks. Just because every time we see them, they're on a mission, like out and about for the royals. That's just like protocol. Well, you have to but remember. But what would you say, or you won't be back on here? What? Oh, nothing. I'm not going to say. That's okay. Perpetrator. Do you be perpetrating? Oh, no, it's all right. Say it. No, it's just One not fair. You can me. say, oh, you can say everything about anybody else, but we can't go there. Why you get mad because I'm talking about the princess? Not even her. There's a lot of other I know things. that's your princess. The Duchess. Oh. Right. She's Duchess. Mm. So. I'm not going Something. there. Anyway, I, I think. But you, but you say, oh, I could do this. But I was just close that's, to when that's you said. You know, but well, when you try to drag it out, I'd say one thing, and then you try to make it, you try to drag it out. And I said, no, I just made a tiny little comment, and then you want to elaborate on it. You want to stretch it out. Stop doing people favors and say what you want to say. Oh, it ain't going to be no favor. Oh, I'm just saying. I don't, I mean, like, I'm not the type of person who go out. And be out for blood for motherfuckers, especially if I know you. Oh, you don't think so, I but you can make fun of all, 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 everybody else's heads, exes, kids. Do you act like she don't be in here cracking jokes on my Oh, I hope you are back. a sniper. You're no, a sniper, though. No, that's holding like back. This? What no. you no. hold back? on the grassy oh, knoll. No. <laughs> I tell you what, oh, we, no. we, we all hold back. Oh, wow. If that's your holding back, woo. We, we all do. hold If back. that's him holding back, that's amazing. There are amazing. things that we don't say on this show because it's a female on the show. Believe it or not. Wow. So all I'll that, just let you know. All that dirty talk and everything, that, so what would you, you not talk about? You ain't getting the real dirty talk. That, you cannot be any dirtier than all that. All that <laughs> stuff he tells you talk. <laughs> Woo! Do you, if, you, you think he can't get dirtier? Yes, oh, so, that is disgusting. <laughs> that he is just one. It's your opinion that is disgusting. Sure it is, and I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay, well you run go, with them, motherfuckers. Go, don't bring it up. That's why people go. Please don't. Why are they talking about that again? Because you'll elaborate on something and just them the, go But then the comments you will bring up. What other comments you see when you look through the comments? Because I don't look through the comments. I don't have to look. When you look up and you No, you said people say saying. this. What else people be saying? You just take <laughs> a glance. Motherfuckers always bring up the shit they say about this. Take what they glance. say about you. Oh, what? They agree with you about my eyesight? Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> so what? Ah. <laughs> 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 I could be 
be saying this, nigga. Let me tell you something. I, I'm the type of motherfucking nigga. I love what motherfuckers signify. I love it. If we gonna have a shit talking shit, don't do nobody no favors. That's all I'm saying. Or act like I could be saying this, or I could be saying that. Say it. Oh, really? Yes, say it. And nobody will get reprimanded afterwards, huh? Look, whatever. Ha- reprimanded oh. afterwards? What What do I do to reprimand you? I can't say that either. I, so you I be re- getting reprimanded and shit, Oh, you never have, so? Uh-uh. Wow. <laughs> so, have I ever reprimanded you in a way like no. something you said? said? No, he just said you. No. Nah, he'll, if I said something, he'll just be like, yo, man, you got to say something. Just say it a little different. Well, that's so like, you did, but that was a guy. Not version. like that, though. Yeah, it but ain't that's like what I'm saying. Though. That's the same I don't thing. I that was a- shit, though. I'm, I'm fair. He be, and I he know more I'm fair. so be coaching. Uh, like, hey, and that nigga. might sound arrogant, but I know I'm fair. Uh, he be like, yo, nigga. Do you get mad when I talk about gay motherfuckers, even though... Uh, no, gay mo- no, Corey. I, I have don't. gay people in my class. I don't even get like that. See what I'm saying? My thing that trips me out is when he says, B. "They ain't gonna stop coming Wait, to listen, your class." He sa- don't cut me out. When he says, "D," but you get me out. when he says, "D," you get mad. That's so exaggerated. He wants me to. He would like to. He wants or have to you ever been it. irritated? Or well, definitely. We They're have not- all been irritated by each other. <laughs> yes. I'm going to tell you something. But nobody's ever said that. I've never Willie said D that. Willie D told me this. It's profound what he said. What he said. When you run your mouth all the time and week like we do on these shows, one day you're going to put your foot in your mouth. We're going to say something. You're going to say some shit that you be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have went there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Of course. So I'm just saying, I, I, I will never live a life where I'm worried about what somebody might say. Right. I'll be like, fucking say it. I'll call it bluff. Say it, nigga. That's how I was in grammar school. I used to be the bummy kid. I said, what fuck? Hey, well, you don't want me talking about your shoes. Talk about them shoes. I'm talking about your mama, what she had on when she picked up your report card. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know how to touch nerves <laughs> yeah. with words. Nerves. And it hurts. With words. <laughs> I think all and of it them hurts. do. I think, I, think <laughs> all of I use do. verbs. But that's what I'm saying. I think all of us do. Some of us just don't want to. I'm sure I've pissed Frank off sometimes. Frank, Frank, have you ever been pissed off by Corey? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> all How the do you time. really feel about the jokes he says about your woman? What jokes do I say about? Do I crack jokes about Jenny Yes. What do I say? <laughs> what do I say? I it's fuck like with shit Frank. He's saying. I fuck with Frank because he a dude that I feel like he can take it. <laughs> I wouldn't crack jokes like talking about Genevieve on air. Do I do that? I don't know it if I do. Well, that's what Frank. I'm saying. I don't think he knows it. Some Speak of the time. up, Frank. Uh, <laughs> see, nothing, nothing that Genevieve wouldn't laugh at. Oh. Nothing that Genevieve wouldn't laugh at or, or himself. himself. All right. I think that I, this is my opinion. <laughs> opinion. This ain't like Bobby, my factual opinion. Remember he this said is my this factual shit? This is my opinion. factual opinion. <laughs> Nigga, I would <laughs> die it. But look, it is my opinion that Frank and me have a genuine relationship. Nothing yeah. has happened yeah. where there is any fake bullshit. That will make him be like, oh, you a bullshit motherfucker, Corey. Right. Right. You agree with that, Frank? I would agree with that, yes. I would agree. I would agree. Giggity, giggity, giggity. giggity. (laughs) I might have my flaws, but I always try to be straight up. Yeah. That's why when somebody act like they doing me a favor, I be like, don't do me no favor. It ain't nothing happening in this world. That something that somebody say would make me go, oh my God. <laughs> Actually, when motherfuckers say shit about me, it make me stronger. I be like, oh, we taking the gloves. <laughs> That's what we doing. It's a bitch I buy t-shirts from. <laughs> it's a bitch I buy t-shirts from. Old Korean bitch down there. Uh-huh. She always say slick shit to me. 
Because whenever I come in there, in Korean or English, the bitch no. said in, in, in English, but I drop <laughs> words sometimes. She'd be like, "What do that mean?" And I'd be at first, I thought she was playing. So I was like, oh, this bitch know English <laughs> the for the most part. Right. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. don't really don't know, know it. That, yeah. Right. I can slip but some shit in. But she a messy in. bitch. <laughs> she a messy bitch. So? I went down there with Darlene one day. Who is that? Oh. Oh. And then that I have to go shit. on my own a lot of times, too. And then they she act funny with you when you go down there, don't she? No, she's super cool. Is she? Yep. Good. Good. She's super cool. Oh, what Darlene? Where's what? Michael Jordan? Where's Michael Jordan? That's what she say, yeah. She wow. You know. But it's that, it's that little <laughs> pokey, messy <laughs> shit. And I was like, ah. Oh. I but told her today, oh, my mama said this. Because when I went in there today. What did you say to her, man? She was like, oh, you don't have Darlene? Pick it up. Because I, <laughs> I was like, I was like, in front of all her workers. Uh, I said, you need some dick. Uh-oh. And I don't even talk like that. But she keep on No, but she likes poking, that, though. She's po- I'm like, oh. Poking the bear. This, this type of relationship you want? I'm going to go there. I was like, I have never come in here and you're not here. Damn. Monday through Saturday, you're here. But that's her business. So and she handling. said, I don't want man. I want woman. I was Ooh. like, you can have a woman, but you need dick to balance you out you, think you need a motherfucker dogging you out coming in here grabbing shirts and just wearing them and throwing them <laughs> in the laundry you wait. need this to balance out bitch I can't wait. so you can stop worrying about everybody else oh, business God. and when i said this it was like <laughs> all of her workers was looking like this they was laughing sort of <laughs> they all mexican but i was like, like bitch you poking you <laughs> Yeah. Bitch. Somebody said she's so horny. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bitch, you throwing rocks at a ship. It's not gonna hurt. Bitch, I say I I, I was mm-hmm. nice with just saying she needs some dick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm I a, can see it. She's very playful like that though. Right. I oh, know so how she, to she be trying to crack no, no, jokes. No, 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 it's not like he It ain't cracking that. jokes. It's a nosy, unappropriate behavior right for a business no he's and you right. you know i'll, I'll be like so yeah. all this time you didn't think that he was just talking no she's like that she's, so she's like that yeah got she's it. she's an antagonist she's antagonizing got it so mm-hmm. it's like shit i'm just saying man i love it when you when you come out the bag and i could just be like oh so i can say what i want to say around you you That's said me. that last week <laughs> <laughs> what I say? He's like, you just be waiting for niggas to show. I wait for. Hey, when you come out the bag on me, I be like, ah, oh, okay, hey, that's what's up. That's why I can never have a job because I do that to any motherfucker. I don't care if you my supervisor or uh, employer. If well, you fuck with me, I'm gonna say some shit to get up under that skin like a dirty syringe. All right, El Jefe, can we move on? Though? El Jefe. What's El Jefe? Boss. Can we boss move on? That's, that's what it means? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, El Worke. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Does you that mean what? something? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, El Cricket. Eh? Whatever. Um, so, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of LeBron's new show. Those Cricket On HBO. Breath. No, we haven't. That kind of rhymed. LeBron's eight show on HBO. Anyway, it's called The Shop. Uh, you, it's on demand right now, uh, Tuesday, October 23rd, up until then. Um, it's episode two now. It's a collaboration that LeBron and Maverick Carter's Uninterrupted, it's called HBO Sports, presents unfiltered conversations and debate from the biggest names in sports entertainment. And the second episode, he has um, Drake on. And the first episode, he had, oh, a bunch of people. It was like a slew of, in one barbershop. So what they do is they sit in, like, the barbershop, and he holds like interviews and stuff with him wait 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 so lebron is in a barbershop and he yeah. ain't showing how they make his hair i can't you know what i'm just saying how dare you sit in this motherfucker i bet he have his hair already done don't he? actually in the pictures i've seen he has a hat on baseball <laughs> boy lebron you know if you had some real niggas in that barbershop they're gonna be like nigga when you go get your hair cut nigga 
You don't get your hair cut. You oh, get your see, shit. I wish you would have told me that because then all the pictures, yeah, the, all the guys have their hair and they're getting ready to get it cut and he has a hat on. All right, right well. <laughs> That's why he ain't, cause he ain't got no real motherfuckers around him. I love you, LeBron. I'm rooting for you. I want you to make it back to the finals, but nigga, you better get you some real niggas they, around you. Th they said the shop will give viewers a one of a kind barbershop experience, which for of many. Him not getting his hair done. Which for many provides a sanctuary for free flowing and spirited discussions. The series will visit barbershops around the country to gather distinguished individuals who can speak honestly on sports, music, pop culture, world events, business, and other culturally related What topics. song do the barbershop be playing when LeBron get his hair done? What song? Cake, 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 I'm going to put your name on I'm going to put your name on it. Ah, I'm fucking with you, bro, bro. <laughs> anyway, he said he's really excited and he's glad that HBO believed in his idea and that they're helping create something special. Man, that's why do a, motherfuckers who are chosen? Why do motherfuckers who are chosen think that HBO or whoever believe in their idea? They don't believe in your idea, motherfucker. You LeBron. Yeah. You're LeBron. You're already a brand. <laughs> you still got to kind of how you say it, kiss. Kiss something. The homie was telling me this shit this week, and I was like, it's such a profound statement. Hmm. All our stars are chosen by white people. All of our elites are chosen. Barack Obama was chosen. The best rapper was chosen. Not by the people. The people didn't pick him. Hmm. The people picked somebody else. But the system got behind who they felt was safe. They'll never get behind a motherfucker that will say what needs to be said. Barack Obama was the president because he ain't going to say no motherfucking shit that needs to be said about motherfucker what's really going on out here. Mm. The best rapper who will be promoted the most is not going to motherfucking talk about no shit that needs to be said. He going to talk about being a pill popper and all that shit. It ain't like even in the 90s rap. Niggas was talking about selling drugs. These motherfuckers talk about taking drugs. That shit was on the internet today. And the shit is funny. The yeah. real motherfuckers are hunted and destroyed. All you motherfuckers on top, you are on top. Of course they're going to say, oh, Corey hating. No, motherfucker. You on top because you safe. You pose no threat to what's going on. Mm. I'm talking about every motherfucker on top of anything in America. You are there because you the safe motherfucker. You the safe choice. I know a lot of motherfuckers who might be on top probably has problem believing that. They'll probably be like, oh, Corey, just bitter. But my nigga, if you know me, you know I ain't no bitter motherfucker. Right. Shit, I root for motherfuckers. I love to see motherfuckers get it. But don't be walking around this motherfucker like Barack is the savior and all that shit. He was put there because he was the safe nigga. Hmm. Motherfuckers like Martin Luther King, them, uh, they got assassinated. A motherfucker like Malcolm X, they get rid of all them motherfuckers who are profound with helping they people. Right. But if you are a cake mix motherfucker, you can be you could be a billionaire in America. They'll be like, of course you can have it. And you'll start thinking it's you. Oh, mm. I'm this way because I'm good. No, nigga. You the safe nigga. And whoever that hurt, come see me. Because it ain't meant to hurt you. It's just to remind you. Don't ever think you that nigga. If you was really that nigga, they wouldn't fuck with you. Mm. All right. Mm. There you go. Mm. D, is that the end of the loose talk, oh. or you got one more? <laughs> oh, no, that was the end. Yes, that was the end. But I was also going to give a quick shout-out to somebody that sent us something. As though Frank was my witness when I opened the box. Oh, man, that was a terrible Horrible. Thing. And it ruined the, the backseat of my car. I had to get it, like, specially washed. I picked these boxes up from the box, and I smelled something. I was like, what is that? Anyway, we opened it up. I just wanted to say sorry, Brittany Tillman. She's the owner and CEO of... Health neurotics from Washington D.C. Uh, it was a mess in that box. So what I even I blame the post office. It's a bunch of health stuff. That, bless her heart. That she sent us. She sent us a whole breakdown of exactly what was in it. It was um, sauces. It was drinks. It was. A, what do you mean? 
It's a whole box over there. Stuff it that she was sent hot sauce and drinks that she makes. and creams and lotions. <laughs> and, and, it, and it was all busted. Disney field and bullshit. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't feel this. These are people that watch the show that send us their stuff, their business stuff. I don't feel I think anything. the post office fucked that. up, though. Well, I don't know, because up. look. Because no, 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 everything no, no. in that motherfucker no, was busted sealed, open. But look at that. She sealed everything. You got a picture of her? All, uh, of her? Yeah. No. Unless she I believe says a picture will say a thousand words. Stop. I can't. Anyway, She's thank you for that. going to be sloppy like that box. You know what? God I'm just saying. It. I'm just saying, when motherfuckers want you to get some shit. Brittany, I didn't say that anyway. It. Bless your heart. Thank you for trying to. Thank, thank you, Brittany, Brittany for sending that bullshit. Enjoy the pro. You know what? And there's one other box I just didn't have time to open it. Somebody else sent. But anyway, thank you so much. These motherfuckers who done sent shit is all 100. Like, we done got brushes and shit. This bitch sent a refrigerator shit she went through with. <laughs> Stop. But look. The caps. And the said, everything. look at the way that's packaged. They no, weren't even no, no, full. No, no, no. I pulled it because it leaked. I pulled them it out. It all so leaked out. Why would it leak? Why I think somebody at the post office shit? was just tossing the box oh, all I don't reckless. Know, but look, it looks like they cracked or they opened up. Even the hot sauce. Bless her heart. But anyway. Man, if you don't Nothing is salvageable. It was a mess. She I'll send you the pictures. She sent you some habanero. She did. She did. I fucking with none of that shit. Why not? She... I put that car freshener in my car and it leaked. Wasted oh, it? all on my new oh, shit. Oh, because oh. you, you didn't have everything kept twisted tightly. I never touched the shit. I bet so, you smell good in D. that motherfucker, though. Look at D talking about because you didn't. No, because I've been using their product and nothing like that has happened. Good. Them big old whole heap of fingers just messed that whole them, bottle them up. Them cricket openers got them. Whatever. Anyway, thank you so much, Brittany. God darn it. I'll send you the picture so you can believe me. She even went out of her way to make... Look at that customized paper. That was so cute. Wow, that's she took, dope. Yeah, man. She, she copied that shit well. That took a lot up. of effort. She made a nice 5150 thing. No, but that's thank cute. You, she took effort to make it on that <laughs> thank paper. Thank you, Brittany. Send a picture of yourself. I bet it will explain that box. Oh gosh! Anyway, the she picture meant, that she box sloppy. Well. She I want to well. see how she look. Now he wants send your to see Princess how Diana look. picture. Oh, what is her name? Princess Meghan who? Markle. Meghan Markle. We should set up that. Somebody said we should start a fifty-one fifty dating service. How would that work? Look. <laughs> Yo, what, what's blind that? dates across the country? We, we, we didn't have shit that almost went wrong when everybody meet up. <laughs> <laughs> niggas to get, niggas to get damn near raped. I heard. <laughs> Who, what? what? What happened? What is he talking about? <laughs> Motherfuckers be playing it all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Are you talking about that one last? That yeah, I'm talking about the shit you told me now. Oh, but you. I don't know nothing said, about it now. <laughs> Now, I didn't t- I'm talking about the shit you said. Now. That was unexpected, Shiva? but all right. He looked like Shiva. What? Who's Shiva? Don't wear that jacket, Corey. No, what Please. happened? Somebody got their boots I'll tell you off air. I'll tell you off air. You don't say off air? I even have pictures. Can't start no date service, because niggas be like, it was worse than that. You feel so soft. Uh, that's right. I don't want to be with you. I would like I to touch you right. again. Let me feel that monkey. You were, you were Tired of smiling and that. playing it all. At first, motherfuckers be like, 51, 50. Yeah. <laughs> He's right, you <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> So much for telling us something. This is a cold world, man. <laughs> Off the record, my butt. I must <laughs> touch you. I God must. <laughs> right. I have to feel the warmth <laughs> before I can relax. Yeah, but that also happened before the Me Too. Don't you run from me. I'm just playing. Right. I came all it of was, this way. It was unexpected. I was like, what the? What Please the hell? allow me to grope you. Right. Please. <laughs> I need to feel. <laughs> then you calm down. I'm sorry I did that. I, I don't know what happened. Not keeping Please secrets. Only certain me. people need to know that. happened that to anyway. me on set. For trespassing upon you. your body. I touched somebody. <laughs> and I'm always in what? control. What? Wait a minute. Here Did we I go. Hear this shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What the fuck happened? What happened, oh, Harvey? Black Jesus! I made a mistake to <laughs> touch somebody. It... Made a mistake. I Wait. did. I couldn't believe I did it. Nigga, what's? <laughs> Tell you, the truth. You grope? Don't don't. don't what's don't. groping? I don't know what that oh, is. Just, just like you were saying, this touching in un- unwanted areas and just unexpected. You just you just reach for. What <laughs> I did, did, but what the Trump person, the person, didn't look at me as. 
a person who was doing too much. It's just I had a moment. What was I, the so in moment, other words, they nigga? were allowing you. They were feeding. I touched the softness of a woman, and I made a mistake and held it there too long. It was an accident. I, I was like, oh. And I was like, I can't believe I did that. So I know if I can do some shit like that, this <laughs> nigga's out of here. Corey Cosby. <laughs> Corey. Nah, he's... Corey Cosby. Nah, I just called him Harvey. He's a whole heap of Harvey Weinstein. That's what he is. <laughs> Did you call me Corey Cosby? <laughs> <laughs> Corey go ahead and beat two up here. <laughs> Oh shit! No, but you just said that. that. See, see, that's where it gets. Everybody on set was like this when I did it. Like, oh my! God. I was like, I can't believe my head did that. Huxtable Holcomb. Huxtable <laughs> Holcomb. <laughs> God dang it! Ah! <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm not a. I'm, I'm Harvey Holcomb. <laughs> Bill Holcomb. <laughs> Corey Sharper. <laughs> Heavy petty. He ain't calling you CK. Louis CK. Louis CK. Donald Hoke. Dang it. Somebody say, damn, Unc. No, but you didn't touch her in an inappropriate place. Corey You're saying Kavanaugh. you just you touched it her. It was a hug. And it went too far. It was a hug that went too far. If you tell the truth. If I, and it was on video. Mm-hmm. It, Ooh, wasn't, it wasn't nothing that I was doing. She come out of where nowhere. I, where she I was can alone with somebody. Later, she can come out. You know you be alone with somebody and you sneak some shit. It was a hug, and the person was soft, and I was like, "Oh!" Ooh. And everybody was like, "Why? What did you do?" But I was, I, I got caught off guard. She was soft. I, I don't. They I'm not even attracted to her like that. Somebody in the chat room said, "Corey touched me." <laughs> Teddy Ruxpin Hokum. Twenty years later, Corey. Corey Roethlisberger. Old folks home. Kevin Winslow Hokum. Giggity giggity. They gonna come out. <laughs> Mm-mm. Quincy James Holcomb <laughs> Y'all ain't shit He <laughs> said Corey went giggity <laughs> Corey went giggity <laughs> Hey man look Wow The person who I did that to They was laughing too They was like Boy you lost it for a second D Corey Holdem oh, Corey oh, Holdem <laughs> <laughs> oh shit Touch Corey Politsky <laughs> <laughs> Corey Cruz no. Oh, no. Fuck y'all man They going in No but you're a groper So that wasn't a groper What is a grope? I don't know That's what that is you Holcomb. touch somebody in the wrong You're groping them Like just touching them Touching in the, in the vagina or something Boob Like that, pre- that priest I didn't That t- reverend groped Ariana Grande Remember on the side of her boob That was groping Did he really grope her I think Jesus he did Jesus Christ You didn't see the I gotta see it again I think he did really watch it He didn't have to touch her Oh my god Dude and held it Didn't just like a hug Or quick hug He right. hit And it kept moving forward I'm gonna show you these He didn't have to touch her Nah I gotta sure see it not. The screenshots are ridiculous But like I'm not I'm a man it. So I'm not saying I gotta see it moving I saw pictures I'm I innocent didn't... and he not I'm not saying that no, but that's What I'm it... saying is this You was on camera Everything you did And we all know It was like That was oh. too much my Yeah that dude. was way too much Even if it, you I don't know, know what your history Of shit like that is Or what somebody Who know you would testify I but, heard he apologized, so when I heard the apology, I said, oh, he must have did it. Yeah. He said, oh, I got, I got a little excited. I got a little excited. What did he say? And Over it could it? happen. He said, yeah. It could happen. That's why but I'm saying, like, he got on, on a like, purple damn. shirt. I really feel With like cross people, you don't, people you don't know that good, you shouldn't touch them like that. Like, you should, you should, people you don't know that good. Like, when I hug people I don't know that good, mm-hmm. I'm I'm like this. Hey, and you, can you know what I'm whether saying? Want to or not? You can. That's not, how my mama used to hug. Right. I'm not pulling nobody to, toward my midsection. Pat. Pat from what? Uh, uh, uh. Hey, thank right. you, baby. Right. <laughs> Do the pat hug. It'll keep you out of trouble. Somebody told me to speak on another comic up there. I, let me tell you something, man. I can't speak on these other comics. Look, they got a picture of that shit. Look what he touching her. Oh yeah. That's that's uh yeah. Look how she looking at him. Yeah. What the f- that look says let go. Oh, that's a red shirt. Oh, yeah. He was in the Part lower devil? chakras. <laughs> what he's got? Oh. That's like a black belt. He's red all riding on the freeway. That's what Aretha would have said. Oh, she could God. Look at that. He got on the red God. shirt. Yeah, he, look he at that face. That like, girl. Yeah. 
Let me Jesus. tell you something. You know how Jesus is oh, holding me back. Oh, sweat ass preacher. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody here, yeah. <laughs> but me and room. you, yeah. I want to do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. If this is, I didn't really have his cross on right uh, now, I'd tell uh, to you to you. I probably could have got in trouble for hugging my uh, co-star like that. I don't know. But I know it wasn't me trying to... Um, Disrespect her, do nothing that I feel like is something I would ever do again. She but must I have did. felt like toilet paper. When I heard that she was soft, it made it's me squeeze. I was like, oh. Charming <laughs> body. And just pulled right. you. Right. She was gooey soft. <laughs> he didn't Michelin Mander. You know, he was all. Fuck! You've seen the Michelin character. He, he called all Corey. Rolls. He's a little, little, little marshmallow. <laughs> Father Corey. <laughs> Father Corey. <laughs> come, come confess. That's, Come no, to me with all yeah, your sins, hey man, and look, I if, shall if cup we you. We out here, man, all <laughs> acting like we innocent, man. It's something wrong because we we only human. Right. It, it's just. Oh, I've done it. You've done what? Do you we know somebody? Everybody, did? you take a picture with your hand be on their chest. Do you be like, I, it's true. But I make sure that things are okay. But I do. How? I have to admit, I'm very touchy feely. But if now somebody said a guy it's said true, it's true, D, you touch a lot of chests in the pictures. We've noticed that. I can't that. help it. It's just that's where it plays. All your pictures look intimate than a motherfucker. My, yeah. it's, I'm, I'm feeling their heart. <laughs> you be in the crevice of a neck. Right. But if I put my hand anywhere else, it'd be awkward. It'd be too close to the an area down below if I let my arm and hand hang because I'm so too you close. if you so don't know so it it's supposed to be shoulder to shoulder that's neutral that's that's ridiculous to no, you he like to right. turn that's her saying, body again. towards you he be I like, like that I want to come in for a minute. yeah right no but I do do that like I would, oh and it, sometimes if it just looks so I just I I'm I, I have to admit I'm guilty for that come on D at I'm least you admit you guilty I'm guilty for that. At least you admit mm. we ain't perfect, y'all. But I don't ever want to be known as somebody who invades somebody's space because I'm not that <clears throat> motherfucker. I mean, I don't do it like Pope. Mm. I don't do Holcomb all that. The third uh -oh. Pope Holcomb. I don't fuck with little boys. You know what? <laughs> and we got the Catholic Church on us God now dang too. It. <laughs> right? Fuck the Catholic Church. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, that's some bullshit. You know the history of the did. Catholic Church? Come yes. on, man. Yes. They ain't got to kiss their ass. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> they got to kiss boys at. Ah, oh, shit. Anyway. D molested me. <laughs> yeah, I see you that. know what? Somebody say I'm dressed like Prince I Gardner. I let people Who know. I'm like, no, I'm a hugger and all that. And I'm, no, D yeah. is a little touchy feeling. <laughs> Quag my hokum. <laughs> Grope him, hokum. Grope him, hokum. I like that. <laughs> That's, That's the best one. one. <laughs> Hollywood hokum. I see it. D floozy. A floozy. That's oh, old no, school. We floozy. Can't do that. Yeah, that's old What's school. a floozy? It's like a loose woman or something, though. They don't know how to use it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to come back, <laughs> and we're going to talk some more shit. we about to take a bathroom oh, really? break. Wow. I know Frank over there with a pamper on. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> no, he already went. 50, one, 50. We'll be right back. Yep.
to hit one.
5150 back. You know, during the break, I get text messages from all kind of people who watch the show. Right. Um, disagree with things they said on the show. Want to coach me through the show. Shit is fucking hilarious. Like, I mean, I ain't trying to diss nobody. You know, maybe motherfuckers feel like they, they two cents matters. But I'm saying, like, how long we been doing this show? And it's, it's successful. There's controversy doing the show and all kind of shit. So everybody who watched the show and got my number, who want to send negative shit, I mean, you got to know. you like fucking bottle cap. You see this this water I'm drinking right here? The bottle cap fell on the floor. Uh-oh. The only reason I thought about it is because I got bottle caps coming at me with shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, how the fuck is you going to tell me? Not, not suggesting. Motherfuckers is like, what you're doing wrong is woo, woo, woo. And most of these motherfuckers ain't doing shit. I was going to say, but, that, that's a, <laughs> that, but that's a sign not just towards you. You know that's probably how they get down with everybody. Yeah, like, some of these people I know, I know that you don't do shit. <laughs> how did you become an expert on my shit because you got my number? <laughs> I'm not knocking suggestions. People who make suggestions about shit, that's different. But there are some people out here who are chronic drama. And I'm finna change my number so you win. I'm tired of you having access to me because it's all negative shit. Mm-hmm. If somebody is always sending you negative shit, man, I'm telling you, man, at the age of where I'm at, just grown, right? They are already adults, right? It, it does something. It makes me look at you like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Wait, what's the face? Oh. Uh. Uh. That's a what's wrong up. with him? I'm just saying, like, who, who are you? Who are you? Right, right. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, negative, bitter. It's some fucked up people in this world, man. I'm telling you, man. Um. Just like it's some fucked up. Look, I'm supposed to be doing this show real soon for this um, football player. Mm-hmm. One of the best football players in the NFL. Uh oh. Hands down. No, That's D's okay. word. Uh oh. One of the best players. Mm-hmm. And it probably won't happen because of the promoter. Because mm. the promoter was supposed to put money in the bank. Somebody say I'm talking about D. I ain't talking about D. What? Somebody say call him out. I'm not going to call out everybody who got my phone number. I'm just and not saying. Only that, they already know who they are. If they they did, know who they are because they, they watching right. the show right now. And, and if they did, and they got it, all right. negative shit to say. And a couple of these people I know, you ain't doing shit. Somebody said, Nate. No. <laughs> <laughs> even that. What up, Nate? That's it's funny. Nate. People trying to think who it I is. Know. I know a lot of people in this world. But I'm saying, it's like, man. I'll put it to you like this. <laughs> you would be surprised at the motherfuckers that you know who don't think you know that they envious. Mm. When you be around people, motherfuckers, they do envious shit, but they think you don't get it. You be like, do you know I see you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You... Are jealous of me. But they're so oblivious to it that they won't even get that. See, they don't, they're jealous they don't of you, but they stick around for the shine and whatever else they can get up out of you. And I just Mm-mm. say to people like that, I don't know what the fuck you around me for because it's all going to play out real soon. I'm, I'm only going to get to the point where I'm like, bye. Yeah. So I didn't have motherfuckers tell me before. Motherfucker, you my motherfucker. Man, you ain't never get rid of me. Yes, I am. Nope. I don't fuck with you. And if you want to be a Selena manager, motherfucker, I got something for that, too. Oh, I could kill you. God dang. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's I'm some sorry, motherfuckers. Sorry, it's motherfuckers out here who count on you to bail them out. Damn. As a, I know. 
as a grown person. Who they say? Nikki Somebody Payne. say Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Still, silly. They being funny. Somebody say, where's Craig? Craig had to work. Moms Davis. They slowed down the uh, oh, chat room enough where I can see some names yeah, now. Somebody say, it's Jamie Foxx. <laughs> it would be if I was around him. If I was around him, it would eat him oh, up. Chase, thank you. I believe if, if Jamie Foxx was making a billion dollars a year and I was making a thousand dollars a year, he would still be envious of me because <laughs> I'm just saying, motherfuckers see this light and they be like, I don't want that light to keep shining. And I'm saying this because I'm saying, man, it's like, I tell people this all the time. You got to get rid of the toxic motherfuckers in your life. Yeah. And uh, I'm really trying to get rid of all toxic motherfuckers in my life because toxic motherfuckers have been toxic. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just like they started being toxic. I I got people who really try to run my life through my phone. Mm. <laughs> you know See, that's a huge, huge privilege. They don't think that, and they would think, "Oh, that's cock." No, it's not. It is. People don't just hand out. Watch what you say about things. this motherfucker, because that should have come back on you. And I know the shit they talk about. I didn't say nothing about no motherfucker. They was. I was talking about that shit when I said. Uh, I think. I think the motherfucker. One of, one of the motherfuckers in my phone was talking about when I was talking about how white people choose our on top motherfuckers. Oh, mm-hmm. selection. Right. Versus who they let pass. Who you got to watch on. what you're saying, motherfuckers. Ooh, I'm like, what the fuck you gonna tell me to watch what I'm saying? Oh, this is my show. It's your life. What do you mean it's your <laughs> you know show? It's your life. You want to conduct yourself how you want to. This is what I do. I'm on my way to Dayton, Ohio. It's going to be motherfuckers in there, and they're going to eat this shit up. Dayton, Ohio. But you know, something else, too. If they know you, they know even the suggestion is not in alignment with how you get down. That's what's scary about it because they're showing themselves. And this is what I mean. Like, to suggest that he should change or do something different, they that's don't just even not, know you. Right. They don't really know yeah. you then because mm-hmm. that's not how he get down. Or that's how calm doesn't and mean pompous he, they are. Uh, listen, doesn't mean Corey is not open to, you know, intelligent counsel. Don't mean that. Of course. It just means how you frame it. And trying to scare him on some, you going to get in trouble or somebody going to take something away from you. That ain't the best approach when right. you offering a suggestion. Talking about Candy Bar Brown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> candy Bar Brown ain't going to fuck with you ever <laughs> again, Corey. <laughs> I mean, that was some cocky shit for that bitch to First, show up at hey, the show like that. you try to blame me for it. I think you fucked us, though. But what the hell? You ain't you never fucked Candy Bar Brown, though. I've never fucked Candy Bar Brown. Something new? What is that shit you eating? Oh, Mamba's. Mamba. I, had, I know, I already. Can I it. have one, though? Nigga. I ain't never tasted this shit. I got this shit from it's D. It's like a fancy Starburst. Oh, D with the candy. Oh, the God, see, fudger. see? You should have just said you bought it. See, it was okay when you brought it. D, you <laughs> see, bring see, the oh, best candy right away. Candy Goodness in what the, the world. Fuck? This shit got a double wrapper on it? No, nah. that's it. Oh, it's yeah. like it's made out of plastic, but it's flavorful. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck are y'all no, got I me in this motherfucker? I'm finna a eat a pencil eraser. <laughs> Corey dumb as hell. <laughs> He's it scary. It is tasty. It's He's delicious. delicious. That's what you call scary. Oh, are we dressing up for Halloween? No. Not next week and the week after that. Why not? What day is Halloween on? Well, it, I think it's the day before our show or after. It's after. So. It's the 31st, but we have... See, Tuesday the thirtieth, so the night before. Wait a minute, it ain't on Wednesday. No, I'm saying our show is. The oh, this year Halloween fell on a Wednesday. We got the show on Tuesday. Well, let's dress it up, cause I yes. think that's the next show, ain't it? No. Mm-mm. See, that's I the next come show. In here. I it? should come in here then. Looking crazy. We did this before, no, didn't we? No, the next show would be the 23rd. Frank won't be here. Oh, we didn't tell them. They don't know. Where Frank going to be? Frank is a job out of town. So he's going to leave and he'll be gone for a week. You about to be a mule? I'm about to come up in there and turn that <laughs> shit on. <laughs> Frank, what, Frank, what, Frank, what city you going to be in? Uh, New York. Oh. Frank going to be on the Greyhound. Oh. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. So listen up, y'all. There might not be a show next week. 
Might well, we not could, be a show next week. Well, we might not, right? And we could dress up the next week. That would be the 30th, the day before Thanksgiving. I mean, Halloween. You know, I hate Sorry. missing shows. I don't know. But what's very rare, we have not done that in a long time. Just what? that once because you had the operation. You miss no shows. Right, we don't miss shows. No, mm-mm. But it might be no, it might be a show mixed next week. But look, check this out. I want y'all to stay on the fifty one fifty shit because um, <laughs> maybe a way we can pull something off. I'm getting ready to start this fifty one fifty church. <laughs> fifty one fifty church. It's gonna be on Sundays. Mm-hmm. I want a congregation in here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ansem. Mm. Ansem, Lord. Oh, my Lord, 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 Lord. Jesus in them. Mm. I love the 54. <laughs> this will be our offering. That, that'll be the offering. We're going to pass it off. We're going to get some. I'm going to have real pastors in here saying and talking, and I'm going to offset everything they say. <laughs> oh hell hell yeah if God Uh-oh. meant for you to lead the people to the promised land the offering wouldn't have bought that bitch blouse the other day Do can you? I get an amen <laughs> <laughs> Right. Now, I want y'all to go to that 18 years Somebody say Corey on his Creflo dollar. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I um I don't know. I just I just said some shit that was on my mind about shit that's coming to my phone. It be motherfuckers trying to work me, man. I gotta change this number. I never understood why people change numbers later on in life. But now I get it. It's people who say shit to remind me. I got a way to contact you, and I'm going to use it to work you one way or another. I just, I just block them and just ignore them. And if they say, oh, I've changed my number, they ask for it again, I go, oh, I'm not doing that anymore. That's all I say. I've you had say the same number for 17 years. I might have to change my number because the airline sells your number to. Um, oh, that that shit happened to me too when I changed my yeah, number. When you I fly, when you in. fly and you put your number in, yeah, mm-hmm. the airline yeah. sells your number to all these telemarketers, and I get so killed. many numbers yeah. called all day on my my money phone. Mm, mm, mm. It's like I'm like, God damn, right? I, how many more? How many times can they call you? I know. <laughs> They're going to call you every day. Because I block the numbers. I'm like, these motherfuckers and they can got still call. another no, number. They're from right. the same company, right? Right. right. Still do that. You're right. So, anyway. it, you know. Change it. Shit. I just want a right. phone number when I answer this. My motherfuckers who I fuck with all the time. Right. And that ain't to diss nobody. That's just to say I got some wicked motherfuckers. In the loop. <laughs> and some and telemarketers who work this phone. But you gave them a chance. You gave them a break. Gave me, gave them the number, and then they, they blew it. Oh yeah, it's 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 some motherfuckers. They Aww, sitting around watching what I'm saying now. Like I know he ain't talking about me. <laughs> yes, you motherfucker. Lace it up. All nine of y'all. Because I don't know <laughs> who he talking about. Right. But I want to know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Whole heap of souls. Whole heap of souls. We're going to heal you. We're going to reveal to you the truth. Somebody said you need a burner number. That might be very true. What's they got that. What's that shit you can have on your phone? It's a. It's a. It's a. Um, what I is it? A number? App. Yeah, it's a. It's a number you can have on your phone. I had that shit at one time, but it's still the motherfuckers get to call you. And I think it's a Google number where Google call oh, you. Google. Do yeah, you fuck Google. with this motherfucker? Because he's trying oh, to call you. That. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, the Google sweet. number. So I think you just got to have, you got to have a burner number. Yeah. There ain't no way around it. Number for motherfuckers who bitter. Or <laughs> motherfuckers uh, who. Bitter number. Telemarketers and bitter, bitter folk number. Y'all call this one. That might be, that might be a great idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bitter so, number, right? When you when you book, <laughs> when you book tickets on the internet, whether it's hotels, airlines, whatever, that phone number, y'all burn this number up, right? 
you and all of because if you put your real number in when you book in a flight, mm-hmm. man, this motherfucking phone ring all day. Sometimes it be Asian people. Mm. I do. Oh, 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 I, yo, I get the Asian calls a lot. When you put your number on the internet, that's when all them bathhouses them you guys go to. Them companies sell it. What bathhouses? <laughs> I, I don't know which ones out here. The ones out here, they think I'm the police. The bathhouse, D. When's the last time you went to the little bathhouse, girl? He went on Pico. You take Look bath? You, the bathhouse? I'm going to run up off this What? <laughs> <laughs> we want we want crooked baths, cricket baths. Hey, uh, you no, know, you, you take baths. Where's the good <laughs> ones out here? Which the raunchy ones? Right. Yeah. Where the ones with the that was on like uh, tw- rush hour? <laughs> Corey, great. I'm just saying, where the good ones? I oh, went over there. The ones they be they like from the metal. It looks like a metal bar like that. And I think they think I'm a cop. Well, if you wear a hat like that and walk in, yes. I believe it. But I don't want to look too hip-hop. I don't want to wear a suit because it's harder to get dressed if it's a raid. I want a jogging suit so the you police wear your loose come in and I can just pull my shit um, up and be like, shit, I didn't know it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> take you to that little the happy house. ending spot. Steam house, yeah. The happy ending spot. Somebody said they all over Japan and China. Mm-hmm. Raunchy as fuck. Yeah, they dirty. Fix audio. Is the audio fucked up? Yeah, hmm. Oh well, we gotta fix that shit. We miss Chris. Chris <laughs> could fix anything. Blow what? through everything. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Chris, man. That's right. Somewhere smoking right now. <laughs> Don't be banking on no big bitch, Chris. Oh, if you lose, lose with a bitch you proud of. Are you just about nothing? What the hell? <laughs> what? That's just how you gotta live We're the life. Easy. Banking on him. Corey gonna bring him. We're gonna make a pinata. Hey, on Thanksgiving, the day for Thanksgiving, I am going to have this shit set up where it's a barbecue grill or something, and we're gonna shoot the scene. Just like at the basketball court. Maybe we should do it at the basketball scene. court. What yeah. Scene? Fuck it. What scene? Like we shoot little basketball games. You ready? Oh, you okay. you think you ready to play again? I'm if not you, ready. If you let me beat you now. Uh-oh. You ain't. Yeah. I'm not ready. I need to train a little while. I haven't played in a few months. Right. I haven't played. I ain't done shit. Good. So then it's just, it's fair. I need to get back out there. Be I haven't terrible. been out there in a while. It's been... Maybe we should have a jump shot shooting contest. Well, I'll win that. Oh, oh. You ready oh, for that? Oh, here it is. There's I mean, I, just, I shoot better than you. Oh, there it okay, is. Okay, first one. What are we going to play? The you first... know that. I beat you the first game on jump shots. It was luck. Set up. There it is. It's on. Okay. That's first it. one to ten? Okay. I, I shoot beyond the, beyond the arc. Come on. We shooting threes. Yeah, first one to ten. And you gotta and you gotta situate it now. You can't change. Right as I burn the Yeezys. Okay. We gonna burn the Yeezys and shoot. while I'm shooting. Best best first one to get the ten. You shoot, I shoot. You shoot, I shoot. I All shoot. Right. In case of a tie, we have a okay. tiebreaker. There you right. go. So let me I'm get beat the, the shit out of you. I'm finna let start shooting jump shots. Just shoot. You too little, Zo. There they ain't got shit phone. to do with. So this is Thanksgiving <laughs> week, okay? This is, no, right. this is this is oh, right before the show on right before Halloween. That oh, Tuesday. Oh, that Tuesday. Oh, okay. So that's then, enough time to get in there. So we'll make up for the missed show if we if we do miss. Where's it. the t-shirt? God. Oh, damn it. you didn't bring it. Oh, hey, Frank, Frank, do you see a blue yeah. shirt? Can Grand you pass t-shirt. me that shirt over there? Over Shirts there we that. just printed. These shirts are part of how I live my life. Throw that motherfucker. My life must be spoken. So, this is a shirt that I think you will feel proud to wear when you go hoop, grocery store. It don't matter. Now, don't wear this shirt if you're perpetrating the game. But if you are a 100 motherfucker, the shirt say 100 Side of the game. So the person that called you with that bullshit. Was Which side you on? on? <laughs> 100 side of the game, homie. Side of the game. Which side of the game you on? The 100 25%. side? 25%. Which side you on? <laughs> Get your screenshots, nigga. <laughs> Which side of the game you on, man? Oh. <laughs> Evil is good. Oh, that nigga doing the Eddie Murphy shit. Oh, no. Evil is good. 
And if you get yourself a piece of evil ass. Uh -oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's one of my favorite scenes in that movie. <laughs> Google gonna sue you for that emoji. Look at another motherfucker. Really? Go. They are? He not come, keeping it 100. See? Come get it, nigga. God. Anyway. We finna wrap this shit up, man. Uh, I appreciate all y'all. If we are able to have a show next week, we will. But if we don't have a show next week, I got to come back. Besides the Yeezy shit, we got to have a special guest in this motherfucker or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's start working on that. We got to have a motherfucker that we everybody gonna like to be with. Yep. Mm -hmm. We got some people. Right. Willie D, you ain't coming to town, is Willie D always gets welcome here, right? Hell yeah, hell, motherfucker, yeah. Got That's that one of the coldest motherfuckers in the game, man. We, I respect we gonna that. Have, we gonna have uh, we gonna have somebody on the show. We got the next. Somebody say Aries Spears. Yeah, somebody no. said Cat. We gonna tell no. We can have anybody who we feel is safe. Somebody we ain't got to fight. Nate's chair is right there in the corner. Somebody say bring Nate's chair back. <laughs> it's there. It ain't never gone anywhere. Can't walk away. We can't get rid of Nate's chair. We no. might have Johnny Mac on the show. Oh yeah. We love we Johnny Mac. Come on, man. Man. Yeah. yeah. We just ain't set it up. Somebody say Felipe Esparza. That's my homie. Mm -hmm. uh, bring back Freeze for a show. He can come Freeze back love. anytime. He can come back He's anytime. Yeah, Godfrey. Godfrey gonna pop up here one mm -hmm. day. I would love to have Mike Epps and Cat Williams on the show. Mm -hmm. Nick Cannon, he said he wanted to come on. He wanted to get at Darlene. Oh. That's what he said? No, he did not. I'm fucking with you, Cat. You know you ain't say that. Ha, ha. Cricket. <laughs> Might have T.D. Jakes on this month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> would you? Ask Hell Kanye yeah. to be on the show. See, he just said so everybody. Would you have Kanye on the show? Kanye might be on this show talking crazy like he did with What's the Name. Remember he was on What's the Name show? My nigga with the dreadlocks. Oh, Sway. Sway was like, if that's what you want to do, we can go back here and do that shit. Sway, <laughs> he played it cool. You Town know business, I mean? Oakland. Uh, Kanye talking crazy to me. I'm going to be like, man, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> it wouldn't work out. It wouldn't Go, 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 oh, oh. No. I knew this shit was going to go. <laughs> 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 Do I say flame? Comedian Rob, man. <laughs> who they? That was a good Yeah, one. they telling us who they'd like to see. Bill Burr. To, I would love to have Bill Burr. That motherfucker funny. Kirkland, we could get too short. And Kirk, T.K. Kirkland, so he said he'd come on Can the show. Can you get too short to come on the show, D? We can ask. Too, too short. Be, he too he short. be mad cool. Yeah. Kevin Hart, come on the show, boy. God damn it. All y'all motherfuckers. Trevor Noah, that'll be great. Oh, mm -hmm. God. I love Trevor Noah. Yeah. Trevor Noah, he, uh, what happened was, I think when Trevor Noah first came on the scene, he was trying to do comedy, so I was talking shit. No, he's not trying. That's what he start, That's what he is as a comedian. He started off doing that. Right. Africa. It was kind of hacky at first, but I think he's found his groove and realizes that he's got to do him. Yeah. And he mastered it. He so, got it, yeah. you know, somebody say Ice-T. Yeah. <laughs> Joey Diaz would be great. I'd love to have that. Mm -hmm. What's my man's name with the MMA? Who? Which one? Ball here, Cat. Dana? Rogan. Oh, Rogan. Uh, Joe Rogan. I would love to have Joe Rogan on yeah, this Joe show. Joe Rogan would be dope. Mm -hmm. Joe Rogan is kind of intimidating. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Joe Rogan <laughs> would be dope. He's a smart guy. Where TDP at nowadays? TDP still around. Yeah. Him and him and um, so um cool. Louis Dix do a show cool. together. I'm oh. so proud of that young man who beat the shit out of Conor Gregor, and he just was telling them, man, y'all want to hold my check, y'all can have that motherfucker. Mm. And if my teammates get kicked out of the MMA, we ain't fighting in the MMA no more. Mm. That motherfucker. Don't fuck around and start another league in this bitch. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like <laughs> he the champ. Go. Fuck mm -hmm. Conor McGregor shit talking ass. You can't talk shit and say what you want to say to everybody, motherfucker. It's a motherfucker out here who gonna shut your mouth. And that's what old boy did. He shut Conor McGregor mouth where he tapped out. Oh, I want a rematch. I'd be like, I'm not gonna rematch you right away. You a drunk. Mm. I mean, mm -hmm. Conor McGregor, every time I see him, he got some alcohol in he's his fucking farting. hand. Yeah, he's out of the right. Room. You're not right. no fucking fighter who out here to get it you 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 drunk in the riches no you know who'd be good on this show yeah. oh somebody just mentioned it lord jamar that's my boy Remember he from from uh yeah. 
from uh, Brand Nubians. Man, that would be dope. Well, let's try to set it up. Yeah. Lord Jamar, we looking for you, bro. Come through, I, fam. He good dude. He good dude. Smart dude. I talked to him. Good dude. Cook them some crickets. We'll reach out. Anyway. Donnell Rawlins, Bruce Bruce, DMX, Ask Farrakhan, Corey, Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. God. Terry Crew. D.L. Hughley. D.L. Hughley, I see him all the time on the airplane. Mm-hmm. I was on the plane with uh, Pops from, from Friday. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Witherspoon, He's right? He's candid in interviews. He'll say whatever. He don't give a fuck. He be talking about Richard Pryor. See? Sugar Free would be great. Sugar oh, Free. We, we told, asked them already. They said yes, but he was on the road. Okay. Well, we, Erica Badu, I would love to have Erica Badu on this show, man. Yeah. Off of her? I take my hat off. You can take off, your whole hat off, Nick. I can make you take your hat off. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Would off. you have Obama on the show? No, no faggots. Look at oh, him. Shit. Hey, I'm just That's fucking no. with y'all. I fuck what? with faggots. Faggots can come on the show. We don't man. agree with all the comments made by the host of the show. <laughs> oh, these are jokes. God damn. I love you, whoever mm. you are. Barry Suda can definitely come on the show. Mike Tyson. People want to see you Charles and Mike Tyson Barkley. together. Charles Barkley might fight me. See? I got something for all that, though. <laughs> I got something for all that. They want porn stars, too. <laughs> DB bringing porn stars. I did not. I just brought one. What? So you brought a porn star, D? But he made, he said porn stars, uh, Plural. Like but that's the only one that you suggest? All you got to do is bring that's one. He got the gateway to the rest of them. <laughs> I could bring all kinds of people if that's the case. Well, what, what, what bring Shaq? What? Wesley Pipes, he mad cool. I talked to him on the phone a couple times. That nigga crazy. Bring Slink Johnson. Beast. I see Coco. Oh that's God, I ain't even hell. repeat that shit, nigga. <laughs> Slink say, was cool when he came supporters. on. What we, about Grady. I'm We've with him. We asking Grady. Grady to come back. I love Grady, Grady come back. Yeah. If I call him and ask him, yeah. Grady come back. We can signify again. <laughs> That's hilarious. Rude Jude, yes. Superhead. Rude oh, Rude Jude. Jude said he would come on too, but it was Rude special. Jude is good. Love his book, his last book. He's written two already. We gonna wrap Michael this Collier, Let's do it. All right, it's late. G, Wanda Sykes, Eddie, Eddie Griffin. Griffin. Oh, I fuck Lord. with Eddie. Oprah girlfriend. You know what? Had Don they Lemon said on bring Adrian Broner on. <laughs> Don Lemon to fuck the chairs up just like motherfucking Nate did. Uh-oh. How, how it, what? Chairs really? would be full of um, shit soot as his ass drips. Anyway. Motherfucker scared right. to talk shit about these pussy motherfuckers. Well, like, we'll keep everybody posted about the show <laughs> next week. Somebody said people prices. Oh, stop. <laughs> Shannon Sharp will be a great guest. Yeah, he would. But Peebo <laughs> Bryson would be too. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because you, you and Peebo would be in here singing. Oh my God. <laughs> that shit would be yeah. so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Corey and Peebo would be in this I bitch crooning. Oh, girl. <laughs> they would be in Red here singing. Red Grant, yes, he was supposed to come on the show. Who? Red, Red Grant. Grant. Yeah, yeah Red we'll get Red Grant on the show, week, bitch. And then we got crazy. Remember the yeah, very next day? We got things crazy, got crazy that week. Anyway. Anyway, so we're going to wrap it up. I want to say to everybody who stayed up with us all night, we appreciate you. Um, much love mm-hmm. to um, um, everybody that supports the show. The 100 Side of the Game t-shirts will be on the website ASAP. Yep. By tomorrow, D? Yes, and I'm By dr- tonight? God, maybe I gotta pack, tomorrow, this, I gotta pack this stuff to go to town too, so it's gonna be tough. I'll try. Okay, so Ugh. it's all to the good. Um, and we are dropping the prices on a lot of the stuff because we're clearing out the whole spot so we can make room for all fresh new teas. So yeah, we got some good ideas we got coming up. Yeah. So that's what's up, man. Um, Wait, Kaepernick, holla at us. We want Kaepernick on the show. Yes, Might as well come on. I'll add his cap. People can FaceTime him. Cap ain't in L.A. though, is he? No, but I'm saying we can FaceTime people. Come on, in. Don't man. Get, twisted. We get can make through here, happen. Cap. Holla at the folk. Make it Holla at a nigga. <laughs> 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 Stupid. <laughs> anyway, 5150, we up out this bitch.
Y'all trying to go skate? Let's go. I'm down. What about you, little man? Y'all trying to